I was like, yeah. man, I feel I feel really bad that I put you in that situation, but, but not like I, I was just on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I was also working ahead or doing what I had to do. So sucks, but he got it. Yeah. He's taking PTO tomorrow because of it. So I get it. But yeah, shit's back to normal. Ish. So busy. But... Situation. Situation normal. Yep. Mm. Did I tell you my company's decided to loan me out to somebody else? I think you, you did mention that. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been like two weeks now, and they still don't really know what the fuck's going on. That sounds right. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. Oh, I'm not in the slightest surprise, but they've also pulled, like, all my work and then expect me to magically come up with hours. So I'm not on overhead. <laughs> but they pulled all my projects, except for just a couple of little things. It's super frustrating. But, so I, I finally get in there, and I'm at this meeting talking about, you know, what's what my responsibilities are. Nobody actually knows what they want me to do. The guy who was here for the rest of the month is now, I'm only getting three days with him whose job I'm supposed to be covering. Cool. Uh, and the lady who's over all this, uh, I, they were had co-ops. They were talking about getting them uh, laptops or, or like temporary computers or something. I said, this is probably a good time for to have the conversation about, you know, my access. What are we doing? And she says, she told me that, oh, she's planning to treat me like a mushroom. <laughs> Everybody knows mushroom. this one, right? Uh... No. Oh, I, okay, so this is going to be a Jaredism to you then, then Tusi. Oh, boy. Uh, so, treating somebody like a mushroom, well, mushrooms thrive when you keep them in the dark and feed them shit. <laughs> Got it. Yep. Got it. Makes yep. sense. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, and then everybody in the room, like in this conference room, just looks at this woman and is like, how do you expect him to do this job with no access to our SharePoint, no access to SAP to actually, like, do to put in POs and approve things. Uh, no access to all the files that this guy who's leaving has spent uh, the last four days putting together and organizing. No access to uh, to any of their uh, any of their site drawings except what my company already owns. And she goes, "Well, now that you guys have you know stated the obvious, I see that you know yep he needs a computer." I was like, "You should have been on this wow. fucking weeks ago." Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's boy, gonna that's bad. That's gonna be real bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be expected to do a ton of shit with like no with my hands. Yeah. Is what it sounds like. Fucking no support. So it's gonna be a really fun time, I think. It's gonna suck. Oh, it is gonna suck. And they work way more hours than I do, typically. So I'm Dude, sure I'm expected that. to work their hours. We have we have a we had a our, our month bi monthly staff meeting or once every two months staff meeting or whatever uh, on Wednesday, and we've got a lot of project work coming in. But man, the shit they were saying in the staff meeting was like, "Oh, we got alert or a lot of work, so everybody needs to be a team player and hunker up and mm. get ready to work hard and stuff like that." It sounds like we're going to fucking war. It's like, why don't we just hire some more people or turn down some fucking work? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna uh, like why are we why are we expecting people to go to 50 hours and feeling bad or like trying to guilt them into saying they're not a team player if they don't want to work fucking yep. 50 hours? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some that's some bullshit. You know? It absolutely is. I mean, it's one thing if you, it's it's one thing if you have to do it once in a while, mm -hmm. right? Like a couple times a year, sure. something's got to get out, right? And something happened and it's behind. Sure, right? You put in the time, you do it. But when it's yeah. all the fucking time, like really? Yeah, I, 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 like what people told me when I talked to them about it, when I asked about it, because uh, like we put through a company wide thing, or, like the expectation is you hit a minimum of forty five hours now, right now. Um, and I, I, I asked like a couple people, like my supervisor and somebody else who's a VP. I was like, "What's what's all this about? Like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah. Like, I don't like that one bit." Yeah. Uh, and uh, they were like, "Oh, we just got a lot of work, and we're trying to, you know, over the next like two to three months, we want people or like we're just trying to get through this big crowd of work." And then like during the staff meeting, they were like, "Oh yeah, and this month and you know next month looks even busier because we're getting uh because we've got you know a bunch more contracts and we're really getting out there and pushing our business development." 
and I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, yeah, who the fuck's gonna do it? Like, that's yeah, that's yeah. sweet. This is a paper like, doesn't stink, wood doesn't stink. You're doing something to make it stink. Yeah, and then they're talking. I, I talked to my my direct supervisor today. I have like a biweekly check in, and I was like, look, I'm I'm not on board with this plan. Like, I don't like I get the idea of growth and so on, but like you need to find hiring. And if we're just kind of like going out there and pushing ourselves out there, BD wise, not hiring the people to deal with it, you're going to, you're going to lose people fast. Like, uh, you know, it, it and it, yeah. this Perhaps is off. Real. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And like, I don't feel guilty. Like, it's not like I'm sitting over here, uh, complaining while working 42 hours. It's like, I just busted my ass and worked 60 last week. Uh, plus I worked, you know, 10 hours over the weekend that hasn't even counted towards my timesheet yet. So like, you know, I'm sitting here complaining, uh, but you know, you can't really look at it and go, ah, he's just not working hard. I was like, ah, fuck off. But like, I don't know. It's, it's going to be weird if this is, if this is the vibe going forward, I'm not on board with this plan. Yeah. Uh, but my company did for like the better part of a year. So the, it was like something feed, like 70 or 80% turnover in my project. Were they feeding you shit about, oh yeah, we're we're working on it. We're trying to we're trying to get more people. Yep. Trying to get more people and oh it'll be as soon as you know, as soon as this couple months are over and as soon as we ship this next delivery. And then yeah. the next delivery after that is the same thing. So just kept going for a year. And just everybody started quitting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, you're gonna lose people real fast if you do it that way for that long. Yeah. I'm already losing. Yeah, you're gonna get I don't know, you're gonna get a, a, you know, a small subset of people, right? That are just in it for the money. And they yeah. love it. Like, they'll totally work the overtime. Oh, so, yeah. But Some people are like that. I am not one of those people. But very few. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I'm... Like, fuck that. No. No. Like, if I, I can... Mean, if they were paying overtime, I... sure. But they weren't even paying oh. overtime for it. It was just the... pure... Like, you can get time off later, which never actually came. <laughs> That's extra shitty. I actually get paid yeah. overtime. So it's... So do you, when you say you get paid overtime, is it time and a half or is it straight time? It's straight time up to 45 hours, and anything beyond 45 is time and a half. Yeah, mine's just straight time. Uh, I get paid, not... but it's not really overtime. Yeah, that's 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 not. No. Yeah, and it's it's super shitty because they charge they will they will absolutely charge overtime on the PO. Right. To, right. To the other company. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They... Yeah. California and... has it set yeah. up to be like. You work eight hours a day, standard rate. As soon as you get over eight hours, it goes to time and a half until you reach 12 hours. And when you reach 12 hours in a day, it goes to double time. Yeah. Holy uh, shit, a lot of unions I would love like that. that. Well, yeah. a lot of unions are set up like that. That's just how That's California how it was. labor it's, uh, law is. It's up. Yeah. Well, see, that wouldn't work for my company because we do four nines, and a, four nines and a four. Yeah. Well, that's like but some... we're it's... also salary, so... Well, yeah, that, that's like some people in my work, they'll do uh, four tens or whatever, you know, so then they're getting two two hours of overtime every day or whatever, you know. That's, yeah, and, that's like, but that's almost cheating the system. It yeah. Is, yeah, it is, but I mean, you know, it, that's how it works. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm surprised they pay that. Yeah, like, they yeah, pay it because they have to. they're willing to let people do it. Yeah, they have yeah, to because it's California. Why wouldn't they send people home? Because. You say, hey, you have to go home after eight. I, mean, I guess if there's work and they're cool with paying it. Our money, our Great. company makes money hand over fucking foot, dude, and they still don't pay us enough. So, like, that's rough. Fair enough. Like, I did a job. I did a job that took me. It took me like a full day, basically, a day and like an extra hour, right? So we're talking nine hours of labor, and they made fifty four hundred dollars off that job. Like, like straight profit straight or profit, uh... straight profit? Oh Jesus. Yeah, cool. and like I'm talking, you're talking one minimal man at nine hours. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it was basically like all, all they're paying for are microscope slides and like refractive <laughs> index oil. Yeah, so okay. Like, so like fifty fifty cents. Yeah, uh, an hour maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Like I say, the profit margin <laughs> on like the type of work I do is absurd. So they're like, yeah, whatever, we'll pay overtime because, like. <laughs> You know? Sounds yeah, like you should just be your own contractor. Basically, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, the thing is, I know how to do all all the stuff and all that, but like, they're so like, you know, 
SOPs and whatever else that they'll see into the yeah. practice. So, you know. It's hard to build a customer base as a contract for that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It really is. It really is. Yeah, and, they may and because there's a reputation associated with the company name, right? Right. And that's how we've always done it. And yep. We know that there's also the liability side, right? You've got to carry some pretty pretty serious insurance. Yeah. Uh, in, case, in case you fuck up. I mean, there's yeah. a yeah, there's definitely like, you know, I know our company gets subpoenas all the time for people, you know, like, because, I mean, we're dealing with, like, asbestos and hazardous materials, right? So, like, mm -hmm. you know, people are doing all sorts of, like, lawsuits that are like, okay, you need to come in and verify, like, your results and all that, and, you know. I saw Expert this video the other day. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to share it. I don't, I don't know why I thought it was so fucking funny. I just ran across it again. I need to go grab my beer, and hopefully it's slightly cold. Let's see if I can share this in Discord. <laughs> I'll share my brew in Discord. Ooh, buddy. Uh, that's even the right channel. Look at me go. I hope... It, why does it do this? Log in Facebook, Facebook. Why does it do that? Like, I want to <laughs> share just the video. Fucking delete this post and try again. No, that's not even how you delete a post. Somebody help me. <laughs> Apparently, I'm Discord illiterate. I don't think I have. I'm assuming I don't have privileges. Uh, where? So, can I. I guess I can save the video? That seems really shitty. What is the I name of it? <laughs> Is it something oh, like okay. YouTube? I can do it on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to do. Log in the Facebook. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> oh, Jared's sharing with us. He's actually working what? for them now. What the fuck? You know what, <laughs> you know what guys? Yeah, I'm sorry. What, what's this company's name? Does it start with an F? <laughs> I'm fuck? sorry. Let me let me get you a better link because apparently somebody shared it on uh on Facebook is okay. where I saw it originally and I I couldn't remember the name of it. Okay, how about that? That's what I want. How do I delete my own post? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. If you, if you yeah, watch that I one, it's, that fucking, one. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. That one gets me all the time. Uh, <laughs> that one's real just, good. He just gets progressively more distressed. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> what is this guy? The square. Where? <laughs> Where does this shit go? The square Where? hole. The square <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why, I just... Just, just how very distraught she gets throughout the video it just cracks me up. Yeah, I think I saw it where somebody was talking about like game design and all that. That's what basically what every dev yep. goes through. Then they give it to blind to their player pool. So they're like, no, <laughs> god damn it, fuck no. <laughs> yep. Pretty good beer. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get another one here in a minute. shit on my phone oh it's ink <laughs> like looking at the picture <laughs> noticing my that ink on my hand oh how about now yes gotcha how about bound cow so it made a noise that time, and I thought Lee joined the chat, and it turns out it was just disconnecting me. <laughs> but now it tells me, I guess. You gone. Yeah, I go. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm going to go get another beer while we finish waiting on Lee. Yeah. Yep. Fashion yep. pool. Nice. Pretty good. Mm. Like, it's actually got, you know, for like a goat, it's actually got a little bit of tartness to it. Not just like, I don't know. I like sour beers. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I definitely like sour beers a little bit more. I'm not a big fan of hops, 
So anything not hoppy, I prefer. Uh, and so sours and uh, right saisons or whatever those are called. Like those, are, I prefer those to a uh, right, right to a good hoppy one. Oh man! Oh, I didn't. Did you guys. I was gonna say I didn't tell Jared I got a voice mod thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty good. That's fucking funny. Pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Yeah, I think it'll add to the immersion. <laughs> Oh man, it's so awful. I don't, I don't think that's what a plant sounds like. No, it's not. I've just been playing around with it. I do have like the one for uh, for Half Life, like the Combine Soldier. Uh, that that oh. sounds even worse. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. All sorts of fun ones. I'm not going there, there was a fucking brutal hit in hockey today. Like one of the one of the better players in the league just Oh, I think I heard about that. Dude, it I think it just happened like a few hours ago, if that, but like dude was coming across the ice and he got clipped and he was falling down and somebody else was coming at him and he was like just the other guy that was coming at him, he couldn't dodge the guy that was falling right. and just need him straight in the head it oh. was like, like full-on whiplash whip back everything like that it, oh, like he God. Was, and I, it wasn't I, even like intentional it was just no. here he was i can't get out of the way and boom. right right like i'm skating as fast as i can all of a sudden somebody like another there's another collision and because and like in the first collision he actually kind of got his head hit too Ugh. like so his head gets knocked a little bit and then he's falling and then he just it was I uh I somebody sent me a link and I started watching it and it is like I watched the far out version, you know, when they zoomed out and I saw it happen and they were about to go to slow mo. I was like, no fucking nope, way. I nope, can't do nope. that. No thank you. Like it's not, not as bad it. as like bone breaking or anything like that, but just I can't even ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> too brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. It's rough. Oh, dude, I I want to forget that paintball practice I went to where that guy fucking broke his femur. Oh, oh. my god! Laid him up in a chair until the end of practice. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Well, I mean, <laughs> a lot of shit going on. What? <laughs> it wasn't a, a team I was on at the time. It was a team I was practicing with. Holy fuck! Yeah. He did a snake dive and fucking missed it and just, I mean, it snapped it almost clean. No. And I just put him in a lawn chair, dude. <laughs> it was wild. Took him to the hospital afterwards. He sat there for a solid hour and a half. No fucking way, dude. No way. Oh, he God. He was out of it. He was in shock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. He's just pumped full of adrenaline. Yeah. It just. I, was like, uh, I heard it. And I was like, "You guys ought to take him. Like, it's he needs a doctor." Yep. And he's like, "I'm fine, man." <laughs> like, oh no, you're not. Oh, you're, not no, you're not fine. You're not, you're not fine. You're, not, you're not, fine. not fine. No chance in hell. No oh, god. That's fucking nuts. That's a uh, that's terrifying. Yeah. Uh, that's why they got rid of snake diving. It was yeah. because it happened. It. W I don't it even really understand a what snake times. diving is. Should I YouTube so, it? No, it's uh, it's actually it's not that big a deal. But you know the snake that runs down the the bunker that runs down the one side of the field that you like crawl behind because it's small. So um, people would, it just usually runs down one side of the field, and it's you have to like it looks like a snake. Yeah, is why it's called a snake. Right. So people would run full blast toward it in like the middle of it. So they're running perpendicular to it shooting infield or upfield and then blind dive over the top of it. So if they could, if there was something back there that they didn't see because they're looking downfield the whole time and then they dive face first, a lot of time they'd fuck up the dive and land wrong because mm -hmm. if especially if there's something in the way, they'd try to adjust and just just fucking break bones and come in head first and lose their mask and all sorts of shit. It ended up getting uh, pulled out of pros and uh, and all the leagues I played in. But for a while there, 
until it happened in a pro practice and somebody, I think it was actually the same thing. Somebody broke their leg really bad. Uh, I don't understand how, how do you break your leg going face Christ. first? Uh, they, when, I don't even know how you do it, but you go, the way they go over, it's like, you don't like level out. Right. So you come down half and half and catch your leg on, uh, you have to catch your leg on fucking something. I don't know yeah. what. I think the one the one that did it in the pros was uh, he landed on another guy that was in there and didn't see him. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> this just sounds awful yeah, I, all the way around. Yeah, it just didn't, didn't seem like a good plan. <laughs> no. But anyway, I see Lee. <clears throat> I think. Yo, we're here. Hey, yo. Yeah, I we all made it. A snake in the chat, so you guys. Yeah, he did. Looks like. Yeah. Put a snake in the chat, so you know what a snake looks like. Is this gonna be like a, like a, a paintball snake or like a snake snake? It's the goddamn paintball. snake you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, we were about. just talking about okay. Yeah. I just was curious. I was like, okay. It bleeds all over it. Yeah, and and don't I don't understand how you injure yourself going over that. I really don't. But people repetitively did it. And I'm just like, uh, okay, whatever, man. I mean, I feel like if you had, you know, several thousand people just belly flop onto a yard, like, some of them are going to get hurt, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, some people got those little brittle bones. Didn't a, there's, milk. there's a big bell curve, and half the people are going to fuck it up real bad. So there's some quantity. Yeah. Out, maybe not half. Oh, 10%. That's, that's just that statistics. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, since we're all here, we got a little bit of a late start. Um, I'm ready to kick off. You guys are. Sure. Now that we've identified Ren's gender, uh, she has escorted you through the uh, north of town into the fog fins uh, and uh, told you about uh, she gathered you guys up uh, through your mutual uh, mutual acquaintances and things. Uh, you've either done some you've done some. Uh, some runs for in the past, either acquiring, uh, you know, rare books or curiosities or, or items she wanted to study. And she, she knew about you guys one way or another, uh, from past business. Uh, and she's called, uh, she'd called you guys together because <clears throat> she's seen a light, uh, at the top of the lighthouse, uh, here at Gauntlight Keep. Uh, and she doesn't know whether it's, uh, some sort of evil presence, a, a uh, curiosity that she wants to study or if there's maybe a magic item uh, that can be retrieved and uh, retrieved and sold in her shop. She wants you guys to check it out. So right. she's dropped you uh, in front of the keep. And you see... <clears throat> so as you approach the, the ruins of Gauntlet Keep, the sounds of frogs and mosquitoes the sound of frogs and mosquitoes mixes with water sloshing against muddy shores, all muffled by the ever-present mist that linger in the aptly named fog fin. As the mist clear, as the mists clear, a shadow looms from the cloying swamp vapors, a sprawling ruin of stone and wood squats atop an island in the soggy marsh. The upper floors have largely collapsed, leaving only the stone walls of the ground floor intact. Above these ruined towers above these ruins, towers and out of what's this above these ruins towers and out of place monument a colossal lighthouse whose painted walls and iron cased crown have resisted the corrosive effects of the surrounding swamp i need to make my text bigger <laughs> I'm getting old so that's what you uh that's what you see as you approach the this area and why are there cards here delete delete delete, delete <laughs> there we go delete delete Delete, delete. Okay, hey, we figured out how to get rid of them. Uh -huh. Yep, there it is. I was really just open that. Perfect. Oh. You cut out. We lost you. We heard hoping oh. that. I was hoping that would happen, that someone would figure out how to delete it. All right. So that's what you got. You're right. approaching on an overgrown trail. Not going to lie, I barely listened to that. I was too busy paying attention to the playing cards. So, uh, my bad. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> Look, I'm just being honest. Like, 
<laughs> had a hard enough time reading it with the small text. I'm not reading it again with large text <laughs> for you. Let's see, let's give us give us the old copy paste. Where did, where... Screenshot. Oh, that's it. actually a thing. No, I can do yeah. that. That's the thing I can do. Oh yeah, I guess because we were playing. Throw that. Then I can save it forever and never look at it. Man, I oh, went shit. over the character limit. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Oh, you threw hey, it that's here. the thing I can do. I heard something. There it is. Uh. Lammy. Oh man. Wow. All right. So what are what are we trying to do here again? What's the what our goal is to go find something? Uh, Ren wants you to investigate this light that she's seen at the top of the tower, but nobody else seems to have been able to see. They think she's crazy. Gotcha. She's at night. She can see a glow from the top of the, the lighthouse. Huh. Um. Did, how does? Why is John's token show his health total? Oh, it shows my health total. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore that comment. Oh. All then right. Something because I was like, where? Where? I was totally like, staring at the black part too. Yeah, me too. I was like, what <laughs> token? <laughs> I forgot we actually had done this all already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even opened up a little more of it so you guys can see sort of what you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I reckon I'm going to walk on up to the front door and uh, is the door shut? Uh, well, let me just tell you <clears throat> about this. Uh, so, swaths of mildew and mold cover the damp surfaces of, the wa of this watchtower, appearing as green and black smears on the dull stone walls. Door frames in the walls to the north and south rotted long ago, while a collapsed, while a few collapsed chairs lie on the floor amid small heaps of foul-smelling gray lumps. Uh, thick sheets of dusty cobwebs hang from above, obscuring any view of the ceiling. Let me just reveal this to you. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> ah. I I suppose I'm gonna pull out my um. <laughs> What do I got here? A rapier, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna walk on in and prod at the dark lumps, which I assume are on the uh, another plane. Another <laughs> the dark lumps. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, they're just on the ground. There's little dark lumps. You're prodding okay. at them. All right. Uh, as you, as you start to prod at the dark at the dark lumps, you hear a, some voices above you. Does anyone know Undercommon? Um, Probably. I do not. <laughs> no. I do. no. Under tongue. I probably Undertone. wrote that wrong. I probably wrote that wrong. Oh, undertongue. That's a pretty sure <laughs> sex move. Undertongue. Yeah, it's not pulling up anything, so... Yeah, I think I just typed it wrong, then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, because a shadow tongue is one of my other ones. I probably just copied it. That's definitely. All right. Uh, Greg, give me a... You're a little bit farther away. Give me a perception to see if you can make out the, the words. Okay. Uh, 13 plus, what is mine? 3, so 16. Alright, you can hear chattering. So Greg's the only one who knows what's going on. Lee, you, you can look you can look up and, and you see into the cobwebs. You hear voices coming from the cobwebs. Um, <laughs> let me see what the voices say. Um, they're asking him to stop poking the magic pixie mud. Oh, I'll relay that to Lee. Uh, oh. and yep, and they 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 they're at first like you hear the one trying to welcome him and welcome uh, him into the parlor, oh, and then uh, they ask him to stop prodding at the the delicacies, uh, their delicacies, the magic pixie mud. Uh, they say you can have some if you like. Uh, if you you can have some if you like. Uh. But but stop stop ruining our ruining our meals. Uh, and then, so you, they uh, you, you're pretty sure that they are, they are telling the truth. That that is actually magic pixie mud. Okay. Well. Uh. So here's what's gonna. Well, happen. Greg is. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd relay it. So. Okay. I'll right. I'm able to um, do that. Greg. I'm gonna stop poking it, and I'm gonna okay. bend over and take a pinch of it. 
Okay. And uh, do a little smell of it. Can I do like a perception check to see what I can can discern from it? Smell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before you sure I can. before I cram this stuff in my mouth. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I got an eighteen plus. Where's my uh, plus three? So twenty one. So as you as you move it towards your face, you can tell that this smells like shit. Uh, and from the from the rafters, you hear. You hear just uh, out just guffaw guffaws of laughter, uh, and you see uh, you see these little uh, little blue creatures rolling in laughter, and up above you can see that they've got like some little ropes and uh, ropes and pieces of wood across across some of the uh, old rafters, amongst the cobwebs and things. And uh, Greg, you can tell that they're making fun of him for uh, for uh, putting the Putting the shit in his face. You're not gonna throw it at him. Hold on, let me. <laughs> See, come on. Oh, that's because I'm not in select. There we go. Bam. You guys can see those tokens now, can't you? Yes. Yep. Cool. So that actually worked. I had those on the GM layer. <laughs> and I moved them from the GM layer to the token layer. Very nice. Wow. Very fancy. There you go. Oh. Uh, so, Lee, would you like to throw the magic pixie mud? Uh, yeah. I guess at the closest one. All right. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and everybody else roll me a perception initiative, and Lee will put you at the top and go ahead and take an attack with your pixie mud. Oh shit! <laughs> what am I rolling? I mean, strength? Uh, it'll be a dex with. You can use your strength modifier. Okay. On, on your, it'll be dex for the attack and strength modifier on damage. Yes. Uh, an eleven. You want that in the sheet or the initiative? Uh, put it in the initiative portion. Okay. Oh, our sheet eleven does not do it. Uh, but they realize that you're not amused, uh, and you see one of them take off. Uh, actually, let me see your initiatives first before one of them takes off. It's probably John is thing. higher than me. Okay. Uh, did, well, that, that wasn't all my actions now. No, you're good. Go ahead. Okay. You got another all one. Right. one all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Oh, let, me, let me take yeah. a peek here at what I got. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> 19, and I get a plus seven. So, damn. Jesus Second Christ. Second action, I'm gonna ready a javelin. Okay. And I'm gonna throw a javelin at the same one. Oh, he's going for big guns all of a sudden. Uh, that's not good. Uh, 15. <laughs> uh, that'll hit. Oh, all right. You remember your level one again? 15 yeah, five. Like say. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I did four piercing damage. Okay. Uh, which one did you throw at the one closest to you there? Mm-hmm. All righty. So uh, he, yeah, he's rolling around and you stick him. And at this point, uh, you they realize that you're very, you guys are very, very uh, upset. Uh, and they snarl and th and uh, and draw weapons. Uh, go ahead, Tusi. Right. Well, um, they're kind of so they're kind of like high up or something. Uh, they are about seven feet above you. They're in seven or eight feet above you. Seven. Like, or so eight the ceilings. Well, I, seven or eight feet above the floor. We'll put it that way. The ceiling yeah. is ten foot tall. The uh, the cobwebs are about seven foot tall. Like you're seven foot up. There's some cobwebs and planks that they're standing on. So they're right. in a little three foot gap between the cobwebs and the ceiling. All right. Um, let's see. Well, I'm gonna just step in ten feet, and then I am going to throw. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna take two throwing knives out of uh out of my pockets, uh, and Got then it. I'm gonna throw two knives at a little gabo that is up to my left. And so what's the okay. negative modifier that I get um, for the second attack? 
uh, you're at, so look at twin. It's a little different. Actually, twin doesn't do anything different. It'll be minus five unless you have a an agile weapon, which I think they are agile, so it'll be minus They are four. agile. Minus four. Okay, where, what page is that on? I'm playing Great the game. question. It's in att- playing the game, I believe, in attacks. What is it? Finesse? Is that what you have? No, well, yeah, but he's agile. looking for just normal. Agile, uh, agile second makes attack the penalty. Minus four instead of... You're yeah, looking for a pull attack penalty. It yeah, yeah, I see it. Page 282. I got 480, 446, but I think... Yeah, either, either works. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. All right, so attack number one, attack number two. Uh, attack number one is an 11. Nope. And attack number two is a 12. <clears throat> also, nope. <clears throat> All right, hey, one up. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, I know, right? One up. Uh, that is my turn, right? Because taking my throwing knives out yep. is a was one is a thing. Yep. All right. All right. All so, Greg, you can hear. <clears throat> you see this one scurry off, uh, and he's going to scurry out a hole in the ceiling. Okay. Uh, and then you can kind of see him running off to the right across the top of the ceiling. Uh, and then he disappears out of your line of sight. Uh, let's see how far he can actually move, because that'll be important. Thirty, okay. Uh, so John, you see him. Uh, you can see him out of the corner of your eye, uh, crossing a vine that okay. is uh. And a vine that like is across here. Across. Yeah. yeah, there's a little vine uh, just, that he's scrambling across. And you can tell these creatures are, uh, they are small. Like, okay. Very small. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how small, but I don't know where that entry is. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, I forget what the cutoff is from like tiny to small, but yep. And as uh, <clears throat> as he as he goes across, did do we lose you? Oh, uh, yeah. maybe. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh no, can you hear me now? Yeah. As as okay. he goes across, was live. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, as he grows, goes. Uh, as he runs, you can hear him kind of shrieking, "Boss, boss!" Uh, and then the other two are, at this point, the one's rolling and bleeding. Uh, and the other one shrieks in fear. Uh, and he throws a, he throws out, uh, grabs this big old rancid piece of meat and tosses it on the ground uh, out kind of uh, to the north side of the room. And you see him duck out the same hole. And you lose sight of him. Oh. Go ahead, I've John. Been... Okay. Um, can I see this one from where I'm at? Yep. Yeah, he's he's just rolling and bleeding. He's rolling. I'm pretty bleeding. sure you can see him. Uh, uh, no, John, you can't see him. I uh, can't. From there, you're outside still. You have to if go I... inside to see him. Like here. Yep, that would okay. work. Okay. Um, he's up like in the rafters. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, I'm gonna come up here, and I'm going to uh, ray of frost him. Why not? Give him the frost. All right. Uh, let's see. So how does this work? Uh, somatic verbal. Blast an icy ray. Make a spell attack roll. So is that just a d20? Yeah, that's yep. just a normal attack. Okay. Is that plus anything, or is it just plus your casting stat plus Which would proficiency? Be wisdom. Plus... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, plus. Yep. Plus my proficiency. So plus seven. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, a twelve. I think I've got it. Nope, sad. Okay, well. It says plus seven, then it says a 12. And yeah, I rolled a five. That's concerning. Oh, well. All yeah. right. Uh, so that was a move and two. Yep, that's it. All right, Greg. Uh, I'm going to use telekinetic projectile on the meat and fling it at the whatever it is. Creature. What at, which, oh, the one up in the, the raptors? Well, yeah, the one I can see. Kind of get to come up one to okay. do that, but yeah. To see can I it. go over one or? That's where John was. No, you have to come into the room a little bit. 
Okay. He's flying, right? So there wouldn't be an AO anyways. Uh, he's like above you, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that from here then. He's not flying. He's in the little like raptor area. Uh, so that's eighteen. That will hit. Cool. I got six bludgeoning damage. Uh, well, uh, assuming meat is probably gonna do bludgeoning. Yes, meat will do some some bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Uh, and then, so he is going to, he is going to die from being attacked <laughs> by meat. Yes. I will cackle. Not, he, not actually the ability, just, just, you know. Just cackle. Okay. Yeah. He got meated. Uh-huh. Um, so there's, uh, you hear some yelling and screaming, uh, from outside. Like, uh, just, you hear a bunch of, you hear like a bunch of racket from outside. Go ahead, Lee. Like outside uh, this way, or uh, like out here, out there, okay, somewhere. Hmm. Well, I guess let me see what my speed is here. Twenty-five. I'm moving up. Are these doors closed in front of me? No, uh, they are rotted away. All right. And as you so get a little closer, you can one, kind of see two, through them. Let's say uh, three. It's a little drawbridge. You want me to read you the thing about the drawbridge? Yeah, we need sure to read you do. <clears throat> okay. Uh, a wooden drawbridge. Its timbers gray with age and decay spans a 20-foot gap between the outbuilding and the sprawling ruin on the island. Rusty iron chains hang from the ruin's northern wall uh, to the drawbridge's southern side. Uh, the chains look ready to fall apart, uh, giving the drawbridge's structural integrity an extra layer of dubiousness. Dubious. It's dubious. Dubious drawbridge. Yeah. Dubiousness. Oh. Dubiousness. That feels bad. The old double uh, V drawbridge. What about this little pixie guy? Can I see him? You can see him. Where, where he's, is he? Uh, he's like scrambling around. He's went through a hole in the roof, and he's like scrambling around trying to get a hold of this vine uh, that's right to his right. Okay. All right. Well, so I moved. I'm going to stop. I'm going to huck a javelin at him. Okay. So here we go. Ooh, that's so good, a nine. That's not going to cut it. All right, let's do it again. That'll be the so end are we, for me. Are we drawing javelins and throwing them, or do you have a bunch in your hand? Oh, uh, you know, I made an assumption I could draw and throw as one action, but... Look, do not... I don't know if that's correct. Javelins. Drawing always takes an interact, unless you have something that says it goes with something. Okay, so I guess I drew and threw and didn't hit anything, so that's it. The old drew and through. The drew and through. Alrighty. Um. It has a see. dash for reload, I guess. Oh, so then no, you can yeah. you can reload for or I, oh, yeah okay. you can reload for All good. Right. I well, think take, if it says take. I think it, I think that's what it is. Let me look. Reload. Yeah, dash would be. It does if not. Yeah, if it shows um, dash. It, if it's is it like a longbow? Says this can be zero if drawing ammunition and firing the weapon are part of the same action. Um, Does a bow say zero or dash? And I, it, it's a dash. So an item with the entry of dash must must be drawn to be thrown, which usually takes an interact action like uh, drawing okay. any other weapon. All right, yeah. okay, that's okay. There we go. I'm I'm out then. I'm done. That's it for me. Now we know. Tusi, go ahead. Well, um. So, all right, you ran forward, you threw some stuff at this guy. Uh, I threw a but, javelin, but I missed. Yeah. I guess I'll also, so is he still like seven feet in the air, roughly? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's kind of 10 feet. He's kind of climbed up the top of the wall. He's, it's all sort of the roof is crumbling away in places, and you can see him if you get up there. Yeah, if I get up there. So I want to try to do like a leap uh, while I'm running. Uh, okay. To try to leap up there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Like you want to climb through the hole in the roof? Yeah. So I want to. I want to go like uh, you know. So the roof's like ten feet high. Jump and then get up there. So the the hole in the roof is here. 
Oh, that's where the hole in the roof is. So I really can't yep. get up to him unless like by climbing up this way. So I'd have to go over here and then get onto the roof. Nah, I don't have enough movement for that. All right. Well, I'm just going to sprint forward. Uh, I'm going to run onto the bridge and see what I see. Okay. All right. When you, like, when you say is see what you see, you're going to take a closed? seek. Oh, yeah. There's a closed door. There's a closed door. All right. Well, I'm going to yep. kind of risk it for the biscuit uh, and hope they don't pull the bridge out from under me. Uh, all right. I'm going to take, uh, since I'm super close to this dude, I'm going to take out two daggers and throw fucking daggers at him, I guess. Um, yep. All right. First attack. Second attack. Oh, that was, those are better. Ooh, okay. So Whoa. with the, the twin weapons, can you oh, shit, throw both of them as one attack or not? Uh, I don't think so. Because you, you probably only can throw one then because you, you moved, you drew, which I know with twin weapons you can draw two of them at the same time. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. You moved, you drew, you can throw one. Last time you were good to throw two, I think. Well, no, I, I still moved and drew last time too, but it didn't oh. end up mattering. Uh let me see what twin says real quick 283 when you attack with a twin weapon add you add a circumstance bonus to the damage roll equal to the weapon's damage dice if you have previously attacked with a different weapon at the same time this turn um so negative can't throw can't throw two yeah can't throw two or anything like that so all right i threw one um that's going to be uh 24 it will hit all right, cool. And we've got 1d4 plus I add... He's not flat-footed for any reason, is he? Uh, no. All right, cool. And then I guess... No, that only works for melee weapons. So, hey, ah, 1d4. Bonus. You get strength yeah. bonus if you have one. I, actually, that's a good point. I think I do. Yeah, I have a, strength, I have a two strength modifier. So uh, he takes five. Five okay. piercing. Alrighty, there's a knife well, sticking out of him. But well, it's a dagger. If I can only throw one dagger, then I will have another dagger or another throwing knife in my pocket. So turn. Alrighty. Um. So you see this guy? Uh, he gets out on this, gets out over the, uh, over the water here, about that oh. far. Uh, kind of scrambling across this little vine. Uh, and then he he grabs uh he scrambles around and grabs another piece of rancid meat off his belt uh and tosses it up kind of this way oh. just kind of grab basically he's like here and he kind of grabs it and drops it uh and then he scrambles a little farther down the down the vine and as he's scrambling you see uh too so you see your knife drop out of his shoulder and plunk into the into the shallow water well, that's upsetting. Well, that one's, uh, that one's a dagger, so it's fine. John, go ahead. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, what can I... Uh, I guess I'm going to go I'm up here by... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Can I see him from here? That line of sight? Uh, yeah, you can do it from there. That's fine. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to try and ray of frost him because it has a 120 foot range. So. Yep. Let's try this again. 20? Yep. Okay. So then I do uh, 1d4 plus spellcasting modifier. So 1d4 plus 4. Uh, six damage. Uh, so his he actually crumples up into uh, into ice, uh, and you see the vine freezes underneath him and shatters. Uh, and his his body sort of like drags into the water with the vine. Cool. It's a bad day <laughs> for him. He didn't make it. So after John's uh John's ray of frost, 
uh, you see crawling out of this the northern bank here, uh, you've got a tangle of reeds that uh, are growing thick clusters around the edge of this muddy pool off to your right here. Uh, the waters are murky with algae, and the uh, the half-decayed body of a three-foot scaly humanoid lies on the pool's northern bank, half buried in the mud and leaves. Uh, so you see this little, you know, you see all this stuff, but as you're kind of checking it out, um, over here by the meat. Oh. No, that's the wrong layer. Son of a bitch. How do I undo that? Okay. Uh, token layer. That's where I want it to be. Uh, you see this creature. It's a, uh, a tusked frog beast oh. crawl up out of the water. Uh, and you see him. He's going to move up. Uh, he's going to move up to here. Uh, and then he's going to start. He's going to start to climb the wall. Uh, and then he is going to. He's going to hop over here. He climbs up into the wall, like onto the wall, and he hops, hops over, going after the bird because he he thinks it looks like good meat. Uh, go ahead, Greg. He is inside. He is inside. He came. He jumped over John, like from this wall here. He jumped over John and tried to tried to jump over close to this bird. Okay. He is inside with you. It's like a it's like a sticky looking frog monster, and it it slithered up the side of the the side of the wall there. Sticky looking frog monster, and it's gonna go between John and Greg. So what I do is, um, I will I guess go ahead and cast sticky looking. I feel like it could be weak to electric, or it could like resist it. Hmm. Okay, I'll fling some meat at it. <laughs> I'm assuming that meat's still usable for my projectile. Yeah, it's just bloodier because it, because it brained a gremlin. It's fine. Uh, it's probably not gonna hit. Uh, thirteen. Won't do it. Okay. Uh, so that's two actions, and then for my third, I'll cast shield on myself. Okay. Is that a uh, cantrip? Uh, yes. Okay. Go ahead, Lee. You got a, uh, oh. you got an angry looking frog staring you down. All right. Smacking its lips. So, I'm, I'm having a little trouble here. I'm trying to decide, do I fight it, or do I, uh, use my, where's my spell at? Uh, my overstuffed spell. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a question only you can answer. Yeah. <laughs> all right i think i'm gonna fight it so i'm going to action one get my uh rapier out action two get my shield out and then action three swing with the rapier okay on the uh <clears throat> on the frog beast so i'm looking at a here we go i got a 24 that will hit Okay. Nice. It is 1d6 plus 3 piercing, 5 piercing damage. All right, you have stuck a frog beast. That's it. I'm out of juice. <laughs> I've also got Lizard King, so beware. All right. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Tease. Bye. I can move yeah. through John's space. But you're gonna right? bring four. Yes. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Five, ten, fifteen. Yes. Um, twenty. So I'm gonna move through his space over here. So if he has any reactions, go ahead and take them. None. All right. He is. Uh, he is. So I'm I, just smacking his lips about this bird. <laughs> so I drew my. I drew my weapon on the run or before the run. Um, I will take an interact action for it. I'm not special. 
Uh, I have a short sword. I have my short sword out. I'm going to stabby stab. Give him the business. That's a 17 plus 7, so it's a 24. A 24. He will hit. And he is flat-footed, too. Uh, yep. Any chance that puts me over to a critical? Not quite. Ooh, bummer, dude. All right, so he is going to take 8 damage. All right, we're hacking up a frog. Stabbed. Stabbed a frog. How much did you say? Uh, eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. Roger That's that. Fair. Go ahead, John. My short sword is in my hand. Well, you know, Ray of Frost has worked before, and it'll work again. <laughs> it'll work again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do that. You want to just frost him? Uh, 26? Uh, yes, that'll hit. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, seven damage. Jesus, guys. Okay. And, <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Guidance on Lee. Okay. Is that a, is that a one? It's a cantrip for me. Yeah, yeah it is it a one action cantrip. It yeah, one it's action a one action. action. Yep. What's it nice. do? Verbal. Uh, I ask for divine guidance, granting the target a plus one status bonus to one attack roll, perception check, saving throw, or skill check the target attempts before the duration ends. Uh, with the duration is around, a couple rounds. It, it's until the start of my next turn. Um, and then <clears throat> Lee, mark it. Uh, the target chooses which roll to use the bonus on before rolling. If the target uses the bonus, the spell ends. Either way, the target is then temporarily immune for one hour. No more guidance for Lee. He's been guided. Yep. Nice. All right, Lee. Here he comes. He's going to try to tusk you. He's still getting him some bird. Okay. I was trying to look up the ray shield action. That's a reaction. Uh, it is a... Do you have it? So the ray shield is an action. Block is a reaction. Shield block, yeah. Oh, Okay. And shield block is one that you have to have. Yeah. Because I like have, have feet. I have shield block. Or you have to have it somehow. Yeah. I don't. Oh. You, okay. you probably do, Lee. I, I think, think you're I a, get it. Because you're okay. a. You should get it. <clears throat> I do as a druid. So. What I I don't know that I have it. I'm looking right here. Pretty sure they get well, it by default. Or at least one of the. Types oh yeah, I gain shield block general feet. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, hold on. I should have you, that. So oh, would I have like it. To try to block it. I'm dumb. Yes. So I uh, yeah, uh, snap my shield in place to ward off a blow. Your shield prevents you from taking an amount of damage up to the shield's hardness. And then I think I have to add my shield to my yeah. So my AC is 19 right now. <clears throat> so that's only if you raise shield. Right? Oh, okay. So uh, there's a difference between yeah, blocking and yeah. Raising. There's a there's okay. a difference. Yeah. All right, Lee. So All you right. deadly just means you add a die, right? On a crit. Um, I think yeah. I think that's what it means. It's a uh, weapon yeah. thing, right? Deadly. Uh, add the first weapon first monster die. attack of the yep. game. First monster attack of the game, Lee. I blew you up. <laughs> He rolled a fucking 28. Woo! Why wow, he double? So you are taking... Oh my god. Okay. 25 damage? Um, you and the shield. Hold on here. Uh, yeah, so the shield explodes. Yeah. Yep. But you reduce the you reduce the damage by uh, its uh, by its hardness. hardness I think is, its hardness is zero. Is it right? Is it a wooden shield? It's a steel shield. Its hardness would be I think it's five. Oh yeah. okay. Hmm. So you'll take twenty. Okay. I'm, and I'm your down. shield is just fucking crumpled. Okay. So I am some bird. Down. Yeah. Uh, it's going to turn and it's going to go after Tusi with the next one. Uh, and it will hit Tusi, not Hold on. Him. Hold on. I think I have a thing for that. 
Okay. Um, I have a what's it called? Nimble dodge feet. Uh, I got a thing for this. As a reaction. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it just gives me t- plus two to my AC. So I mean, yeah. it's a good possibility. Are we gonna try to dodge. Well, yeah, I should have told you he was targeting you before I uh before yeah. I told you he hit. But yeah, so yeah. you're gonna try to dodge it. And add two oh, to I have no idea where the fucking nimble dot. Oh, you know what? It's probably a rogue thing. Yeah. It yeah. still hits you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Regardless, it's going to hit you. That's fair. Uh, and you will take ten damage. Ouchie. Uh, and then it's gonna give it one more go. Oh. Uh, for not enough. All right. Go ahead, Greg. <clears throat> Little bastard hurt me on a 20. Uh, <laughs> is this magic missile worthy? Good question. Why can't I? Um, move? I don't know. Uh, does it look bloodied? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> it is bloodied. All right, there you go. I love that we use this 4E term. <laughs> it is bloody. Lee, do you know what that one is? Did you play 4E? I, uh, I did just, not, but I have a pretty good idea that that means it's blow. Bloody is literally half, yeah. it's just yeah. That, that used to be a thing, because a lot of abilities turned on when you were bloodied. Oh, okay, <clears throat> I gotcha. And there was a big story about it, too, that they had to put out an FAQ because people being stupid thought bloody just meant they could literally take a bunch of blood from a monster and rub it all over themselves and they were bloodied. bloodied. <laughs> yeah, it's I was fine. Like, that's that's sense. not the way that works, guys. That <laughs> sounds right to me. <laughs> Earl to four. So that's not hitting. That's rough. That's that's a rough day. Rough. Uh yeah, I don't really got much else, so can my bat probably not give flanking? He's tiny. Yeah, never mind. Uh um, yeah. I can try to feint too. Uh, see if I can, if I see if I can deceive him into making me flat-footed or into being flat-footed. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't got anything else. I guess I can draw my sling, so that I can make an extra attack next time. Yep. Okay. So Greg's got his sling out. Tusi, you are up. All right. So I will attempt to feint. Uh, okay. Which I really don't remember what it is. Oh, it's a yeah, it's a deception. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, deception check against the target's perception. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Hey, that might not cut it. That is a fifteen. Oh no, not quite. Okay. So, close. so he happens, is, like, it's a. As long as it's not a critical failure, nothing happens. Yeah. All right, cool. Then I'll just go ahead and try to um, give him two slashes, I guess, at this point. Just uh, wildly, wildly swing my weapon at him. Just hacking. Uh, the first is a 14. Oh, that's not uh, good. Uh, no, Sorry, 13. Not gonna do it. Not gonna 13. Do it. And then the other one is going to be worse than that. So, uh, yep. Uh-oh. Ooh, well, those are my slashes. Swung I missed. Um, you want me to give you a slightly bigger heal or just the one action? I'm at, um. Well, I was I was talking to uh Lee. Oh yeah. Lee up. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, Lee's uh, got it down. Yeah. I, can, I, can I feel just, like he's getting rapid response since he died first last I, time. I can get I can get you a D eight <laughs> or I can get you a D eight plus eight. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm 18 health max. I mean, if you bring me all the way back, I can start, right? You know, fighting again. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do a two action one. So I'll uh I'll heal him here. So that'll be healing a living creature, increase the hit points restored by eight. So let's see. Um, that's gonna be a hot 12 hit points altogether. Nice. That's not terrible. Yep, and that's, then that's actually very average, right? Yep, and then I have um one action left. Um, could I use my action to help him stand up? Um, like that seems like a fine action to do. I, I'll give you that. Okay, yeah, I'll help you to your feet. Okay, that's legit. 
I think I'll. I think I'm good with that. Let me see. I wonder I'll if allow. that is a thing. Like, I mean, I I would assume that's just an interact action. Just an right? interact you... aid, right, or something. Yeah, I feel like that's just an interact, like helping somebody get up. I mean, interact is for like yep. opening doors or grabbing something. I'd assume a person. So Lee, through. you drop. You will have dropped your weapon. That's one thing we were not doing. When you are knocked out, you drop whatever you're holding. Oh, yep. that checks out. Yeah, yeah I guess sense. that makes sense. But it's still in your square. It's not like it did anything crazy. It didn't skitter right. away. Right. So, Lee, you are up. You are awake. You're mildly healthy. Um... But you are unarmed, and you're you just see this this crumpled thing that used to be your shield. It, am, am I going then? Is that where I'm at in the? You yeah. are yes, you okay. are up. All right, because you go right before the thing that dropped you. Okay, well, first action, I guess I'll pick up my sword. Yep, yep, love it. Uh, second action, I'm taking a swing. Give it the business. Oof. That is a eight. Not Wait. enough. Piss poor rolling today, team. I know. No, I'm going to swing again. Well, you have you have the... Uh, pl well, no, it was until my What's turn. Right? You lost guidance yeah, because you it, went you after lost me. It. Yep. Yeah, I didn't hit him on the second roll either. So, yeah. that's it. Rip. Rip. Anyway. All right. Yep, so the bird... He, he sees the bird. He's going to give the bird another go. It's all about this bird. Uh, Lee, that will hit you for 10. Oh, I'm still standing. Uh, and then he's going to, uh, he's going to go after the plant. Oh. Uh, miss the plant. And then last, go after the rogue. And Rogue's he's going, going miss to nimbly the dodge. Yeah. The rogue he is missed the rogue. Dodge. Yep. Uh, that'll be to Greg. Assume that the first melee attack against me is, I'm just going to try to dodge it. I, I will assume that unless you tell me otherwise. Yeah. Like if, right. there's, if there's like a, a bunch of different creatures. Yeah, yeah. We're surrounded by the big bad and slinging. a bunch of the other little ones. We slinging mm -hmm. for 15. Uh, 15 will not quite do it. Okay, and then we'll cast a uh, a cantrip. Uh, we're going to do electric arc, so he just takes a reflex save, an ideal 1d4 yep. plus... Okay, That's such a cool. Fails. He he failed it. <laughs> I love that one. It's really good because you don't get like a multi-attack penalty or anything, you know. Yeah. Just, yep, just I rolled a one though, save. so it's only only five damage. Only only five damage, guys, at level one. That's not bad. Right. Pretty good. Yeah. He's shocky. <clears throat> That's all. All right. Is it my yeah. turn. Oh, I need to make right. a blit. Uh. Will... Yep. That'll be too see. I will attempt to faint again. Well, I guess I don't have to You're, do that. He's already, already flat-footed. Flat yeah, so we're just going to... I don't think I have anything special or fun to do. I think I can just stab him three times. Which, I mean, that sounds fun. Which, which that feels sounds fine. pretty fun. <laughs> sounds fun to me. It feels, it feels fine, I guess. Uh, all right, here we go. I'll just stab him three times. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so the first one is going to be 16. Uh, okay, that'll hit because he's flat footed. All right, and then the other ones will be will probably not because this is seventeen minus four, uh, so thirteen, and then a couple no's. Nope. So, all right, uh, damage. damage. All right, that's a good one. Uh, eight plus four, so twelve. Uh, he takes twelve. Yeah, buddy. How's he take? How are you getting eight plus four? Uh, two d six because he's flat footed and for in sneak attack. Oh, I forgot then... sneak attack. Okay, yeah. yeah. You uh, <laughs> while while he's distracted trying to eat the bird, you uh, you killed the shit out of him. Rogues do. You want to describe your kill of the of the frog beast? Um. All right, so he's trying to eat this bird. I'm just gonna. So the I stabbed him on the first attack. I didn't even need the other two. I guess. Uh, so yeah. I just. I stab him real deep, and once I realize that uh, I, I kind of it's kind of getting him in the back, and so it goes like right through his rib cage, just pokes his tiny heart. At which point, I'm just gonna pull my blade out and just wipe it clean, um, and just kind of turn around and walk away and start going to try to collect my throwing knives. Okay, 
just as nonchalant as possible. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it at all. Cool. Slick is slicker than it's not on a doorknob. Yep. So, all right. Well, because I didn't need my other two attacks, I guess I'm going to take my other actions. And I'm going to try to climb up this hole in the roof. Or actually, uh, you're no. just going to look for your knives. Yeah, I'm gonna look for it's the one, the one throwing knife that I that fell in here. You, you should it. have two in there because you well, threw two in there accidentally. Yeah, that's fine. I can, I can, yeah. So I have, I have two in there. I want to try to find my yep. knives. You will successfully find your knives after a couple minutes of searching. My goodness. In the through the spider webs and shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand over here climbing and searching and shit. But that's my turn. Okay, you have slaughtered the the thingamabobber. Let me go back to this and see if there's anything else special I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. Okay. All of the damage. Okay. That was a bunch of damage. You guys, uh, that first couple turns you threw on him was pretty serious. I have one more heal All left, right. guys. <laughs> uh, can I lay on hands myself? Yeah. Yeah, you can put your hands on yourself. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's going to absorb my focus, but I will. You can recover focus if you take a 10-minute rest. Yep, sure can. And then I will lay on my hands myself, which is... Uh, since I'm willing to lay hands on myself, I get six hit points back. <laughs> they say, you he know... Willingly, in order willingly to really... touches himself. <laughs> no god, you have to know yourself, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> so, uh, so what's the deal with shields? My shield is just busted now. Like, yeah, I it, it is. It is uh, completely destroyed. That seems hey. like shields aren't that great if they just explode. But I don't know. Yep, yep, they just explode. Hmm. Well, how many hit points does the shield have? Ten. Oh yeah, it exploded. Bigger than shit. Yeah, yeah. But it also stopped five damage. I mean, at level one, that's a lot. It just yeah, so happened yeah, that that thing yeah. was a pretty that thing was a pretty serious monster, and it fucked your shit up. Is there all any, right? Well, maybe it was mean then. So wait, is there any like I have shield block, but I can't use metal weapons. So I can only or metal anything, right? So like you can use a wooden shield. Yeah, there's there wooden shields. Well, I can use a wooden shield, but it has hardness zero, doesn't it? That's no, hardness, hardness three. three. Oh, it's three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two gold pieces. That's rough. For, uh, the steel shield has 20 HP, by the way. Oh, so the steel shield uh, still got blown oh, up because Lee took 20 damage. It My. says, yeah. Huh. Well, well you're okay. looking at the break threshold, aren't you, Lee? Yeah, the BT. I may, hold on. I'm looking at whatever this uh, character builder gave me. Let me um, get it pulled back yeah. up in the book. Yeah, I've got 270, yeah. 277 uh, steel shield. Two AC bonus, bulk one, hardness five, yeah. twenty HP. Uh, yeah. Break threshold. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it takes if you go over if you go over its hardness value, the way it works is if you go over the hardness value, it takes the same damage that you do. Okay. Uh, and then if you are under the hardness value, it just doesn't even hurt the shield. Uh, okay. But then if you go if it takes enough damage to go over ten, you can't use it until you spend time to repair it. Okay. If it goes over the full, if it, if it goes over the full 20, it just blows it up, basically. Okay. Yeah. Great. So you just got really unlucky and it blew it up. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> I now can carry more shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at the positives. <laughs> That's right. All right. What's everybody doing? Um, You guys want me to heal you or like, you know, I could do like a burst heal. How bad is everyone off? Eight, eight out of eighteen. So I'm um, I'm down to half. And you're down uh, like two, right, Lee? I I'm back up to eight. He touched I, oh, you're you're touched up to eight. Um, yeah. I'm gonna discern secrets on myself and try to recall knowledge about the the creatures we just fought. Okay. Uh, the cultism, I guess maybe. Uh, it will probably be. Or no, I got explore? it. I don't know uh, if that would work. probably nature. Nature. Oof. We're we're yeah, in the, the one, we're in the the what bog or whatever, the fog fins. Fog fins. Yeah, that's yeah. why I thought the whisplor might work. I'm not really sure. Whisplor. I have no, a probably not. That's not gonna cut it here. Uh, here I got you, Greg. I got a sixteen. Is... 
still. So. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fine. I'll, you can just roll it. I can uh, make it. So you, you know that the uh, the thing, the frog beast, after really analyzing it, now that you're not panicking, is a slurk. Okay. Uh, and they have, they're basically big frogs uh, that are usually found in underground lairs or swamps and caves. Uh, they have two big tusks to gore prey, and uh, they tangle or tangle up with their rivals. So they uh, they have a natural ability to climb walls and cling effortlessly to ceilings, uh, and that uh, they just um, they exude foul-smelling secretions from their pale skin. Yeah, they're they're really just kind of nasty. Um, big nasty frogs. Got it. Yep, big nasty frogs. Jared, I was going to ask you, since we didn't talk about this beforehand, how many berries could I realistically have on me, like, before coming here? Being a druid. Because I have good berries, like, the reason. Okay, what does good berry do? So it it I, makes berries I, healing berries? Yeah, I imbue a target berry with the bounty of nature, turning into a good berry. Uh, uh, the creature can eat the good berry with an interact action to regain 1d6 plus 4 hit points. Okay. Um, well, I mean, considering you don't have any refrigerated storage, but it's, you know, maybe it's a good, maybe it's good weather for good berries. Uh, I would say you probably have. What's everybody think? Twenty do they, berries. Do that yeah. have like an expiration or anything? Uh, like, it, it's just if it's not used within the uh ten minutes, like after I make it, it withers away. So. I mean, it's still a spell slot, right? Like it's a it's a focus one, so I can only do it every okay ten minutes or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll we'll say you've got we'll say you've got like I think it's not like a single berry. berry. Yeah, I'd say like berries. ten. I have ten. It's probably it's probably on the high end, high end, so you know. Yeah, I uh, think twenty is a little high with it being a focus spell, but probably ten berries. Ten berries. Okay, let me just put that down. That seems reasonable. Okay. So let me just do this. And they're they they're gonna be fairly easy to restock back yeah, in town, right? That's a, or that's like, a if you forage around forage, some bushes that are them. not in the swamp. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I water, don't think you want to eat swamp berries. A watermelon is technically a berry. It can be. So. Yep. So you've got one watermelon. That's your berry. And the guy's <laughs> oh got to eat the whole <laughs> the thing. The whole. The to get, whole. <laughs> to get the T six back. Disgusting. Um. Well, yeah. Fucking hilarious. Um. Uh, well, here, I'll imbue a good berry and give you... I assume we're going to take a minute here. Or at least, you know, I can give you a good berry here. Uh, who needs it most? TC? I, can, I need one, yeah, for yeah. sure. So TC, I'll give you one, and you get uh, seven hit points off of that. Oh, dope. Okay. I, Fifteen. I'd take yeah. one then, too. Yeah. Yeah. And say, we'll just... And then... How wait. long are you guys... What are you guys doing? How long are you staying? Uh, this will be like a 20 minute ordeal if we do this, because it's like, you know, my focus pool, right? I get them back every 10 minutes, but I, you know, I only have one focus right now, so. I'm, I'm oh, up. I see. You're, you need, you need to focus on the spell, too. Yeah. It's, you get one focus point, and then yeah, it takes 10 yeah. minutes to regain your focus point. I yes. thought I thought he like one focus point. He looks at ten berries and it turns them into fucking healing berries. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think it's 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 target berry. Yeah, one berry. Okay. So. Okay. 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 So we're taking a while. Like while he's in between that time, I'm gonna go examine the lock over here. Uh, 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 or I'm gonna go examine the door and just kind of take a look at it. Not gonna pick it or anything like that. Just really look okay, at it. Close. And I'll I'll give you a berry here. Uh, the you get okay. oh, you get ten hit points back. Oh, I'm full. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna regain my focus too. I'm gonna sit down and and meditate to get my focus back. Okay. Since we're taking that amount of time. So John and Lee are going to yeah. focus back up. Yep. Yep. Tuesday's going to be examining the door for a few minutes. Greg, what are you doing? Uh, can I go check out that method that we killed somewhere and see if he had anything on him the or little... any any of the little things? I'm assuming it's like yeah. some sort of creature spirit thing yeah yep if you examine it uh i didn't tell you anything on the check earlier because it was well did you roll roll a second one for him sure uh 12 <laughs> okay you know it's some sort of gremlin okay um and you're ex you examined him and you're checking him out uh anything else oh okay 
group up by the bridge. Rolled a 19 on the door, just for what it's worth. Uh, it is a wooden door. Oh, sorry. It looks uh, like it's kind of rotted. Oh, it's it doesn't look like it's in good shape. Is there a door here or like a dam or something? Like, what is this? This is bridge? the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can see over there. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a little bridge over the water. It's probably, I don't know, fifteen twenty foot up. If that. And there's so there's like a little there's a stone outbuilding you can see that it leads to on the right. While they're doing shit, um, can I have my familiar like kind of fly to the left and the right and then report back to me on what it sees? And just get like sure. a little scouting. Sure can. So maybe like out to here good. and then like out to here, maybe. My familiar can pull levers and avoid reflex damage. <laughs> if it's kind of like safe. around the wall, where, basically. Greg? Just like kind of around the wall. Uh, out Was, where we does that see. look sufficient? Go to flying kind of the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. And then maybe like to about here on the other side. Give me a second. And then report back, basically. God, somebody drew a so, compass out here. Hell yeah. He can yeah. talk, so... Don't you love it when somebody draws compasses for you? I mean, I see why they built a keep here. Yeah. <laughs> basically, my command would be, tell me if there's doors. <laughs> other doors. Other entrances. Yeah, so he flew to like he flew to like here-ish. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right. Yep. Uh, that's what you see. Water. Uh, he says it looks like the water gets deeper as you go north. It's it looks fairly shallow. You know, because sonar totally works like that. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't not work like that. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. He's yeah. just saying it, it totally works like that. That I was not trying to be funny. But, uh, it, it, he says it's actually fairly shallow right in here, like uh, this this front part. But as you start to go north, it's it's pretty deep. Okay. What's this stuff here? Just debris? Like it is debris. Debris. Yeah, some debris. Do. You... Do you want to examine the debris? I'll, I'll examine the debris. Okay. Yeah. Uh, after you rifle around through there, you find a small peridot gem. Ooh. Huh. Shit. Fuck yeah. Do the other side. Yeah. What's over here? Debris. Or can, shit. can we go? Can we go back to peridot? Is that how you say that? I don't think so. A peridot. Uh, That's what I've heard. Car Carcassony. Carcassony Lee. <laughs> I was gonna say it if you didn't. It's Carcassony. <laughs> Parkinson. Sorry, I've had a I've had a old beer, so I'm I'm a super lightweight <laughs> these days. He's over here giving me shit about carcassity. Uh -huh. How much is that, I don't even uh, know. How much is that gem worth? That little peridot gem. The old peridot is worth the. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, give me a uh, I don't know. Give me <clears throat> something. An appraise uh, is what I would say. But that fall under it. Let's see, uh, appraise. That'd be like society, maybe. Probably, or like a crafting, or probably like a crafting. Crafting, thing. yeah, yeah, be good enough. I can roll crafting on it. I'm trained. If you want me to do it, I'm not trained. So yeah, what is this? Huh, plus seven. I mean, I guess I could do nature, right? Because it's a gym. Still only got a thirteen. Greg, you think it's worth about two gold? Fuck you. Okay. You know what that'll buy? You made a shield. <laughs> or you found a new found shield. found a shield. Yeah. Poor. Look at this shield I found. <laughs> the old peridot. Was there anything in this, or was it just junk? Um, are you searching the piles of shit or not? Oh, is this piles of shit? Oh, well, yeah. There's That's well, there's junk. Is. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's little piles of there's little piles of dung. Are you searching those? No, I mean I'm a plant person. My, my hands are already dirty. I'll dig through them. All right, you find a chipped tooth uh, about oh, the size right. of one of the creatures that you were fighting. Oh, they pooped that out? Yep. God. <clears throat> huh. It's a bad time. Anyway. 
Uh, All right. Be, what now, boys and girls? Sally forth. Let's go in. Yeah, I can. Uh, Going in the front, could... or we want to go where the the thing flew to? Well, it's like I could send my little familiar in to like recon. He can open doors. <laughs> okay. And he's tiny, so. That's probably a good deal. Yeah. What's his stealth? Plus three. Fuck yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just, my little, oh god, he's behind. Uh, he's gonna, like, kind of creak open the, I'm gonna tell him, like, go look for, look for danger inside and report back. Okay. So I'm gonna have him Is open, it... try and open this front door. Okay. And go in. He manages to slip in there. Okay. Uh, let me see. What do you see? Give me a sec. Button right there. Yada yada yada. Okay. How uh how coherent is he? Like how much how smart is this creature? Um. It's whatever the familiar rules are. I mean, it's a like it should be able to communicate telepathically with just you i believe yeah because it's like for but it's it... not speech it's just like it's like it's like feelings right like it's, yeah yeah it's more like yeah uh you get the feeling of danger right inside danger. Uh, no well yeah he sees danger yeah, empathically communicate. Empathically communicating. Yeah, some a little bit of alarm. Mine, mine can talk. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't give mine the ability to talk this time around. But um, I guess I'll just have him like come back out since he yep, knows he, there's he something dangerous. Back out. All right, there's something dangerous in there, guys. Roll. He he's tiny, right? Yeah, he's tiny. Okay. Be tiny. Okay. Go ahead. What else you got? Um, I mean, yeah. Do we want to go around the side of this, or through the front door? I mean, we can scout the edges if you want. I'm good either way. You can scout the edges. That'd be fine. I mean, I know you dropped your knife out here somewhere. Might want that back. Do we want to split up and go around both ways, and then? Like, if you hit danger, you run kind of thing? I don't know if we should split up right now. He split the party session one. <laughs> yeah, seems like a bad no. idea. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't love it. Yeah, I mean, That's if you want to... If, if we want to go around this side or whatever and see if we can find a way in, try it, but... Let's go to the other bridge, because that actually seems like there might be something there. Okay. Let's do okay. that. How are you getting? How are you getting down there? What are you doing? I'm gonna come here, jump off the bridge, or sorry, right. there, jump off the bridge. So as you as you get on the bridge, Greg, um, everybody on the bridge take a reflex save. Oh, oh, that checks out. If you want to try to grab the edge as it collapses. Um, I'm small. Well, I only weigh sixty pounds. Yeah, Is no, that's why it didn't. That's why it didn't collapse when you walked on it. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, let's see. Where did I put my? Reflex? If, uh, so I'm oh, near the edge. Here. Is there anything? Is there anything for me to grab onto over here? You can just kind of scrabble onto some of the breaking shit. Yeah, because I'm like just, so. Just close everybody, give me a reflex save, and we'll 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 call it for that. Twenty-one, uh, fourteen. You want well, one for my familiar? Uh yes, I do. Twenty-eight. I, I, I did better than twenty-eight. <laughs> I rolled a seventeen and I have a plus nine. <laughs> uh my my familiar got a twenty-two. Okay. Uh, uh so John, you rolled a what'd you say a fourteen? Yeah. You take one damage. Everybody else is fine. Ow. And you the bridge collapses and you you fall into this murky, muddy, four foot deep water. <clears throat> I I rolled a six. But I have oh, uh, you're fine. feather fall. So. You're not on the bridge. Oh, okay. You're not on the bridge, yeah. Well. Oh, wait, I'm a leafy. Sure. I'm a leafy. I don't take fall damage, Jared. 
Oh, okay. Then in that case, you just get wet. Yeah, I just get wet. Yeah, I don't take any fall damage. I have to remember that. Everybody kind of flops down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You just fell, uh, you know, a few ten feet or not even quite ten feet, just into some water. Hmm. Everybody's right. in the in the shit. Sounds well, not too bad that frog monsters already already tried to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, so I guess while I'm down here, over I'm there sure. you see the yeah you as you walk that way you see the body again that's laying there. Oh yeah, there's a body here, right? Yeah. There's a three foot tall scaly humanoid body, half buried in mud and leaves. Yeah. Well, you guys go search that body. I'm gonna go look for my knives. I'm clearly uninterested in what's going on over yeah. there, and I'm very interested in recovering my other dagger. I'll Roll uh, a percentile, Tusi. Yeah, it's been a while, so this one's gonna be harder to find for I'll, sure. I'll uh, I'll examine this body here. To keep um, it all right. I don't know which one was supposed to be first. So, well, either I got a forty-three or a thirty-four. Okay. Um, you do not find that knife on a thirty-three yeah. or forty-four. Yeah, that dagger's gone. Bummer, dude. It's all right. I got the throwing knives at least. Those are the expen those are the ones that I can't replace easily. So, uh, uh, John, you see. Uh, you clearly recognize that's a kobold. Okay. Uh, that's actually fairly intact. Uh, it's not like eaten up or anything. Um, and you see that the most the most of the gear is ruined. Uh, but there's a rotten belt pouch. As you rifle through it, you find f four gold pieces. Fuck yeah. Uh, and then there's a, a little backpack that's uh, secured uh, in, that's actually still like secured and resisting water, and you find a spike a spike snare. Oh. Bundled up in it. All right. Um, I'm gonna sort of hold this out and be like, does anybody want this snare? Can't use it. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I don't think I know how to use it. I don't think I guess I if it's already uh, crafted, I guess I could. But I, I, yeah, I guess it's already made. What's the rule? Yeah, on it's, I don't have the snare. It's made. You can set it. No. It's a, I mean, I, I could carry it. If you want me to carry it, I can carry it. For now. Sure. Okay. Doodad with a snare. I have a snare. It does things. Actually, it does. Oh, this thing's kind of mean. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dealing 2d8 piercing damage. Against us. Reflex 17 saving throw. Now. Yeah. Cool. So you guys can see a little bridge over there that's, like I said, it's, uh, probably probably a little over 15 feet high. So that's not like a draw bridge. That's like a stone bridge. It's like kind a of stone thing. bridge, yeah. Okay. Well, um, can we see that like hole up. the the other little creature went through? Yeah, I, I just highlighted it. There's a hole in the wall. Can there. I send my bat in stealthily to see? Oh, no, I'm, he went in up here. Sorry, hold on. Let me get this. Yeah, he went in right there. Uh oh, yeah. That's, That's where right the here. vine was at. Nope, where we're pinging. Okay, someone pinged up. So That was definitely me. That's my bad. Everybody else pinging hard. <laughs> I didn't know what colors people were, so I was just going wherever okay. the pig was. Okay, uh, I'm going to stealth him. Uh, okay, give me a stealth is... on him. Bonus. He is 18 stealthy. And then he's just going to kind of go in, scout with his sonar to see how many creatures he can count. Uh, I guess, if there's any creatures, and then come back. Okay. Alrighty then. So he's going to tell you he saw. Oh. I would do this as a polygon, but I don't feel like fucking with it. Nice. Doors. <laughs> yeah, so he, and he saw a, there's a skeleton uh, up in front of the southeast door. Okay. Uh, it's a, there's an armored skeleton. Like here? Yep. Okay. Like a dead one or a live one? 
That's a good like, question. It is. Uh, so there's a 15 foot stone walkway that spans a narrow stretch of swamp water, connecting the ruined keep to a large stone outbuilding. Double doors block each end of the walkway. Standing before the southeast door is a seven foot tall skeleton <laughs> dressed in armor made of gnarled roots, bones, and rusted metal. The skeleton clenches a morning star in one weathered hand with the weapon's heavy spike tip resting on the walkway at the skeleton's feet. Your uh, your bat has a, a sense of the dramatic giving you that <laughs> recitation. <laughs> he is bad bad, so... <laughs> Okay. Um, I think we just try and go in. Oh, can we even get back up to that front door or no? You could likely climb it. Yeah, that bell, that skeleton doesn't look like anything we should fuck with. So, yeah, I think we just go in the front. There's danger, but we can deal with danger. Yeah. True. Um, I'm gonna set up like here. Okay. I okay. Guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna wander, wander up. Open the door. Uh, I'm gonna wander up over here. Okay. Um, so you, before, so you're like, so you guys are like, uh, probably about eight. You get up on the shore. You're probably about eight foot down. So you have to have to take a climb to get to the door. But there is yeah. like a little. There's still a little bit of a little bit of bridge, so you could like squeeze and get in there to get the door open. And only probably only probably one of you in each each of those five foot sections could actually stand. Yeah. So oh, I gotta. Do we have to give you a climb check or? Uh, actually, I think I have assurance for. And no, I only have assurance for acrobatics, not athletics. Yep. You guys can give me a climb check. Oh, I got a twenty. Two. So you climb all the way up there. Slick as shit. I got an eighteen. Lee, you also climb up there pretty slick. Uh, you you just gave a little flap of your wings toward the top, and you were there. I got a 10. Are you trying to climb up? Where are you trying to climb, John? Uh, I mean, I would imagine I'd just go in behind him. If we're all going in, like... Well, so... There's only you space. away, because there's only yeah. space for oh, two. Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, the rest of that's kind of rubble and shit. All right. Oh, you could wait. presumably go back around. Go back around if where? you wanted. Like in here. If it will let me ping. Come on. Oh like, like walk around. Oh like get up and that. If you wanted to, but then it's gonna be harder to get across if you need to get across. But you could go around if you want. This this shore does lead all the way around. You can you can get back around, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I figure I'm just gonna try and get in behind him. So, okay, dokie. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll open the door. Uh, I'll try All to right. do. I'll try to. I'll, I guess I'll try to do a stealth check to open the door slightly. Okay. Um, give it to me. Yeah. I don't know that I can do that technically, or I don't know what it actually accomplishes, but whatever. I'll try. No, you're good. You can try uh, to peek. 22. Yeah, just try to open the door and peek my head through. 22. Okay. So you managed to crack the door, and you hear some of those voices that are similar to, uh, as you open the door, you hear some voices that are similar to what you heard earlier. Yeah. So I can't really understand what they're saying, but I hear that there's... Yep, you hear them. So and you peek in and you see that they're they're it's just some excited yelling. Give me just a second. I gotta move some stuff to the token layer, and then we're gonna reveal some things. So you see, that's the measure tool, not the reveal area tool. Whoops. You see some stuff. That's a wall you see. Um, so you can actually see in the room, and you see there's three of those little uh little blue gremlin things. Yep. Uh, that are attempting to train a large maggot. 
by the look of it. Like they are encouraging this maggot to do stuff and they're waving food. You can tell they're attempting to train it. Okay. I'm going to kind of peek back out and I'm going to explain to everybody what I saw. Um, so, cause I'm assuming they didn't see me or anything. No, they're like absorbed with this maggot. Okay. Uh, so I explain what's going on there. Um, so we just try to bust through and and see if we can take them by surprise, or is that you think it's going to upset? Like, how big is this maggot? Like, this, this yeah. is a big ass. Do I know anything about let this me... maggot? Like, okay, let me look here and see. So, uh, to see you see when you open the door, piles of rotting timbers and loose stones that lie in heaps throughout the large chamber. Okay. Uh, there's clumps of moss and tangled vines that spill down from the gaps in the wooden ceiling above each pile of rubble. Uh, several doors lead out on all sides, most barely clinging to their hinges and frames. Debris completely blocks a wooden stairwell that leads up to a large hole in the ceiling. That would be... Yeah, up here. there to the right. Yeah. Um, and here and there, the stone walls bear the scars of fire or damage from an ancient battle. Oh. Um... And this maggot. So I will say, uh, John, the one thing I found about these this adventure mm. is it references every book that I have. Oh geez. Like it's pulling me it's pulling me into other bestiaries and oh, things. God. So I'm in bestiary one and two right now. So Jeez. it wants you to buy their books. And yeah, that, sounds, yeah. that sounds right. But I mean, I already have them, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh they are doesn't give me a great description. It says... Why does it not give me a size? Oh, it's a, it is medium-sized. Okay. So it is comparable in size to a person. God. Would I know what these are called, or, like, what they are? Or, like, have I heard of this before? Like, as a drone? Uh... Uh, you give me a recall knowledge nature. Okay. Uh, nat twenty plus seven. All right. Um. Oh, so you know that these giant maggots. Uh, let's see. No, but it's not a. Man, that sounds awful. It's not one of those. So you know that giant maggots are come from the eggs of giant flies that are pony size insects that have uh, uh, massive compound eyes and bodies. Uh, then they are their layers are notorious for rotting meat they stockpile to lay the eggs into, uh, and maggot dens are prime breeding grounds for virulent diseases. Oh, so this thing can make us uh, sick. So okay. like swamps and like nasty areas that are that are uh, inhabited by, you know, other things that have rotting meat typically yeah. will uh sometimes will breed giant flies. Uh it is the size so when they hatch, uh giant flies lay their eggs in the bodies of large monsters and livestock. When they hatch, the eggs release squirming magnet maggots the size of human children. Uh ravenous young, they voraciously consume any flesh in the vicinity. They consume so that's, flesh, that's kind eh? of a, Yeah, they're flesh-eating maggots. Probably probably not super interested in plants. Never know. Well, plant flesh, though. Well, if we want to distract it, we got this frog here. <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> I'm assuming so that's the, uh, not small enough for me to telekinetic project on it. No, that frog is <laughs> that frog um, is, that frog is, is, is bigger than big. one bulk. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That frog <laughs> is a monster. <laughs> what about if, the raw if meat? A one thing? Bulk, if a one bulk frog uh, did twenty something damage to Lee, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say he's a little bitch. So, and we know I mean, that's not the case. I'm a chickadee. I don't know. Yeah. He's a little bird. Yeah. He's a little bird. I'm not too little. I mean, he's a bird man. Yeah, <laughs> I could be a dwarf in a bird suit. You don't even know. So wait, it's a maggot, right? It's a maggot. Do worms 
have worms don't have eyes. Uh, with your with your perception check or with your nature check, you know that maggots do not have eyes. Okay. Typically, you cannot see, uh, and they usually uh, find their way around. They have a uh, with using vibrations. Oh. It's like Dune all over again. Yeah. Well. There, I'm just wondering if that maggots. And they are they were trying to bribe it with meat, right? Like they're trying oh, right. to train okay. it and use meat as treats and gotcha. so it, it is it is they're all very distracted at the moment. <clears throat> well, I can try to sneak in. Uh if they're distracted and not looking at me, um I get a what is this called? I can try to hide. So if I was undetected um. Yeah, I hide. Or actually, no, I have to. I have to sneak, not hide. You're undetected by the. So if I success, you you're undetected by the creature during your movement, and you remain undetected by the creature at the end of it. Um, you become observed as soon as you do anything other than hide, sneak, or step. Did I lose you guys? Or no? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. So I can hide too, but uh I can do this and try to sneak in um and get a better position. Yeah. Are, are we gonna try to like rush them or something? I feel like we should try and get the drop on them, but you know how these things go with us, so you know, just do whatever you want, man. It's good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess I will I will attempt a sneak uh a sneak check. Okay. Do it. Stealth it. Oy! I got uh, a nine. Okay. So I will uh, peer open the go door. Ahead and, and go ahead and roll me a percentile, too. All right. Yeah, hold on. Uh, looks like 65. Okay. So as you, uh, as you try to sneak in the door, uh, you kind of bump it a little hard when you go to close it uh and it it doesn't slam shut but it hits hard enough that the rotted wood kind of kind of crumbles off the hinge and uh and you see the the closest the closest gremlin looking thing uh yep. look at you and start babbling and under common and uh and it throws a small chunk of meat towards you to and you see the uh the the maggot has kind of and when the door crumbled the maggot kind of moved moved its head towards you and it follows the scent of the meat too you can see it's it's very uh it's, it's super trained uh to so use that nine as your initiative yeah that checks out um uh, all right everybody else roll up perception initiatives i'm gonna go ahead and yell uh maggot <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, I'll give I'll give Lee a plus one on his initiative for two C's yell of maggot. Oh, it's bad. Still six. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Some of us get worse. So. Wow, guys. <laughs> Not great. Wow. Yeah. That's that's tough. That's tough. Cookies. Good <laughs> shit. Man, I had rolled like a seventeen on my poke my head in the door and check it out, or like a twenty-two. I know. On my out of the door yeah, to check it out. It was, rolled, it was a real deal. I rolled a two when I actually tried to sneak in. God damn. <laughs> really how that goes. Uh, and you'd had to roll pretty damn good. Their perceptions were solid that time. Uh, Except the maggot. He's, uh... Yeah, but he doesn't The need maggot. To... That's true. <laughs> John, uh, what is your modifier? For what, dex? Yeah, uh, your perception. Oh, perception plus seven. You go first. So this is a, it as it sets. Oh. And this S goes away. Because oh, the slope right, is no Aaron. longer alive. Real quick. We're doing sneak wrong, technically. Um, but, okay. So it says, uh, you can attempt to move to another place while becoming or staying undetected. Stride up to half your speed. Uh, you can use sneak while burrowing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If you're undetected by a creature and it's impossible for them to observe you, uh, observe you, uh, you get better things at the end of your movement gm rolls your stealth check 
in secret and compares it to the result of the perception of each creature. Okay, so you get to take a movement. Yeah. So go, my, go ahead. Go ahead and take your movement. Yeah, yeah. So I would I would get my full movement. So what I would be sneaking is I would try to sneak over here. Five. This would be five, ten. 15, 20, 25. I mean, it totally makes more sense, right? To Because you wouldn't know how stealthy you're being. Right. Yeah. So I, I'm moving over here to try to sneak. Uh, so if I have cover or greater cover throughout my stride, I get you get bonuses. But okay. uh, obviously didn't have okay. cover. And so just for the record, any place that has debris, like these, these tiles or those all the way up through, like the ones in front of you, not the ones you went through. Yeah, but anything that's got debris in it is difficult terrain. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah, but okay, so yeah, I guess uh, that was a failure, I assume. So a telltale sound yeah. or sign gives your position away that you re you still remain unseen. You're hidden from the creature throughout your movement and then you remain so. Okay. So you are hit. You were hidden, but the door crumbling caused them to look up figure out what was going on and they see you trying to do the uh the elder scrolls walk in the corner yeah, yeah. Gotcha. go ahead yeah. john uh t -t 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 what to do here um so if i want to get up like and actually like if i if i move here i'm not i can't see up into there right correct and you've yeah. got to move across four foot deep water Four foot yep. deep water. Okay. Yep. And you're a wee little guy. I don't know if plants float though. They might. Uh, I feel like plants float. I mean. Probably. I would say just call it difficult. It's ten foot. So basically, use a, a full move to get across. You can use another action to climb, and you'll have one more when you get to the top. Right. Yeah. Um, is what I would say. It's probably going to be. Let's do that then. Yeah. So move across. Yep. Then I'll climb. Little guys riding on your shoulder. Yep. Climb. Climb check. was a nineteen. You climb just fine. Okay. Do I end up like here at the you're top up, of my yeah. climb? Okay. Yep. You're up there. And then. I'm going to go five, ten. Would you cut? Is this cover like light cover? Did uh, that or not? It's just like a no. Nah, it's just like a bunch of debris and shit. Just debris. difficult. Okay. It's like a rafter beam that's fallen. That's got vines and shit gr growing around it. I can move twenty-five feet. Is the thing. Um. I just kind of want to get. No, but I mean, you are small, so I mean, technically, I guess you could prone up and cover if you wanted on that. It'd be kind of weird, but you could. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen. Could I move here? Or is that difficult? Uh, are you? What's your move speed? Twenty or twenty-five? Twenty-five. You can move there, but that is difficult. So it'll be an extra five feet. Okay. So that'll be the end of your move. Yeah, I'll just move there. That that's three actions. So. Okie dokie. Oh, look at this! I get to actually go with some people. Look at that! Look at that! It's kind of why I was uh, this afraid one. to come up here, but at the same point, whatever. Yeah, that'd be okay. Somebody's gonna do it. So the this is. What's uh, the range on this? Not very far. So that one's going to move up to there and throw a dart at you, John. Uh, okay. I'm going to... Uh... Is it ray shield? Is that what it is? Or what's the reaction? Shield block. If you have a shield, you have... it's Yeah, shield block. Shield block, yes. I will shield block. Okay. What's your AC with shield block? Um... Does that raise my AC when I do that? Raises it. Oh, oh no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say. It, uh... Oh. You're... Yeah, if you're raising it. You have to be raising it to shield block, though. You do? I yeah. Think so. No. Uh, no? I don't think so. 
The race shield you do. Race shield just gives you um. It gives your armor class. Two AC. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can shield block with a. Uh, you can. You, I mean, you can swing your shield and block something. Hell, I don't know. Yeah, I think shield... we're going with it. Yeah, I think it's just. Uh, John, block. you're gonna while, take... while you have your shield raised is the trigger. Oh, that's a. So. That's a oh, I don't. Ha- yeah, I don't have my shield raised. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so John, you're just gonna flat take uh two damage. Yeah. Well, Lee still should have his shield then, because his shield shouldn't have got blown up. Although, he kind of got blown up. He got blown up. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Lee. Hey, what? Your your shield has magically been recovered. Giving it, giving it back. Oh man, now to figure out how to give it back with a sheet. Uh, <laughs> buy another one. Yeah, basically you always just go buy another one. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Look at that. His shield is magically recovered. Da, da, da. Uh, he just, wow. you know, he drank a little beer and the shield repaired itself. Uh, right. Okay, so that one's done. This is 10 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. Uh, gets me to there. That's 5, 10, 20. Perfect. John, another one's going to throw a dart at you. It's going to miss. Uh, the, the last one is going to 20. 20, he's going to throw one more dart. So they're all darting, John. Uh, that one will hit for two damage. Uh, so another two? Yep. So they all have they all have drawn darts, and they're yelling at their maggot. Uh, go ahead, Tusi. Wow. That shitty stealth just... Uh, man, everybody's rolls are bad. I didn't yeah. really look at it until just now. That was pretty rough. Yeah, it was uh, not great. But... All right. It'll be okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to board up against this big guy right here. I'm going to Oh, yeah, real big. I'm going to attempt to faint. Okay. Um, on a 16. Uh, yep. I believe right. that will do it. Let me double check. So yep, he, that'll do it. He's he flat-footed. Flat-footed. Here we go. Uh, how does 23 feel? Uh, 23 feels like a hit to me. All right. Uh, well, hold on. That feels like a crit to me. Ooh, buddy. <clears throat> Do I crit? Okay. So crits with sneak attack dice. How does this? How does this all play out? Um, uh, let's see. I think you do a lot of damage. Yeah. I think I'm pretty if I do, sure you double them. Do I double after my bonus too? It does. Does yeah. it have a tag like a deadly or one of those kind of tags? No, it's maybe just a, it's just it's like. I forget what it is, like precision or something doesn't get doubled? Yeah, it's precision. Like well, sneak attack is precision damage, so no, you don't double sneak attack damage. Okay, so we don't double sneak attack damage. I'm pretty so... sure, right? Let's look it up. Sneak attack, <laughs> yeah. I, usually you don't because it's precision damage. I agree with that, Gary. Uh, oh, God. What did I just do? Sneak attack says... Duh, 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 duh. Yep, precision damage. So... Yeah. That that's definitely what sneak attack is. I have no idea where critical hit. Critical hit, you double. You do add your bonus and double it. Okay, so we're gonna get nine times two is eighteen plus five is twenty three. <laughs> He's mega fucking dead. Just burked him, like straight <laughs> burked him. Just God. blew him up. <laughs> there was there's not even anything left. Yeah. All right. Surprise. You see, this is where it would have been awesome if I had took the the uh, the rogue feet that lets me uh, like I think it's called your next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you're you're double, so you medically remind another foe that you're coming <clears> after. <throat> <laughs> it's just <laughs> you're next, bud. <laughs> you're next. Okay, the maggot. Yeah, uh, he's going to slither up. forward. I'm pretty uh, sure yeah, you do just slowly make attack too. Just by the do way, you? is it is yeah. it not? I thought precision damage. The only be thing you don't double is if it gets added as a critical effect. So like deadly. Okay. I think okay. precision damage still gets doubled regardless. That's a D and D thing then. That precision damage doesn't get doubled. I guess yeah, because you said it says you add your bonuses and then double it. So I'm assuming it's just a no. bonus. Makes sense, but you deal double damage. Huh. Deal damage. Huh. According to your weapon or unarmed attack, including any modifiers or anything else. So, yeah. 
Well, yeah. I mean, so you would have done like quadruple his health. <laughs> uh, anyways, the maggot slowly slithers forward. Nimble dodge. Uh, go ahead, Lee. No, I All mean, right. it just it slithered. Oh, that was it. Oh, it right. was real slow. I'm going to get out my uh, rapier. Okay. I'm going to move up to here. Yep. I'm going to take a swing on the maggot. Maggot action. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Uh, looking at a 12. Nope, that won't do it. All right, that's it for me. Hey. Go ahead, Greg. So I need to climb, I'm assuming. Uh, you gotta cross the water, which is four foot deep, so it's difficult. Oh yeah, difficult to cross. So. so you're. Oh, no. too I know. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the swamp thing, turn expertise oh. gave you something, but it doesn't. It's just survival checks. Okay. Um, but it does sixteen say. on climb. So crossing climbs. it is one move, right? Cause... Yep, and then climbs another, and you're good. Okay, so I'm like here. Yep. You're Okey good dokey. to go. One we left. will uh, electric arc those two things in the back. You got it. Um, action? So it's reflexes. Two. Oh, yeah, it is two shit. I forget. Spells yeah. are longer. Oh, that's right. I will... Uh... John's like, wait, I want an electric arc for one. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. Um... I, I'm assuming I had to put away my shit to climb, so I will draw my sling. Yep. Yep, that'll work. Uh, Go ahead, John. Now, make it so, little plant man. I'm going to electric arc the dude in the back. There you go. He goes, wait a minute. This is <laughs> I was my, just, I was my you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, telling the future. It's just, uh, saves. Reflexes 17. Uh, one of them will pass. Let me see if he does more than pass. Reflex. One pass, one fail. Okay, so the one that failed takes... Five damage. Okay. The one that passed doesn't take any? Or does he take half? Um... He doesn't take any. From what I'm reading. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, what am I gonna do? Um, the art them. That's good. I'm going to go. Go. Would that be ten to get out of there? Uh, you can do five out. Five out. Okay. Since you're going moving out of it, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna go five. 10, 15. I'll, I'm going to go right here. Okay. That'll dopey. be my turn. Yep. All right. Um, the one that got damaged is going to cast a spell. You oh, see shit. him kind of waving his, waving his hands and doing stuff. Uh, everybody give me a will save. Is it an illusion effect? It is not an illusion or effect. Or darkness? Uh, no. Okay. 16 for me. Uh, 13 for me. Uh, 20. Damn. Let me see what the DC is on. You I have a plus 16, 9 for 13, Will. 13, 20. All right, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, 16, 13 for Lee? 13 oh, yeah, fails. 13 and 12 fail. 16 and up passes. Okay. Nope. I'm All okay. All right. Uh, those of you who failed have minus one on your attack rolls. Uh, and then yada, yada, yada. Okay. And there's a little like aura coming from right here that envelops all of you. It's a little five foot. You can, you can see it. It's kind of like a dark, like a dark light. Okay. I'm trying to draw something. Let's see. I want a, want a shape. Mega box. Let's make a box. There's the box. All right, uh, and then he is going to uh, climb up here on the stairs. Is that number? No, it was number two that was hurt. He's going to climb up on the stairs. Uh, this one's going to throw a dart at the bird. And then he's going to draw another dart and throw that dart uh, as well. 
and he's gonna throw it at the bird. Um, nope, nope, no darts. I don't think. So that's not a six. That's a sixty. Might actually hit. Yeah, uh, Lee, you'll take one damage. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Tusi. Right. I am going to straight run past this thing. Okay. Five, ten. Uh, well, I'm moving through his space, so I'm triggering an attack of opportunity. Yeah, it's a hard no. Yep. Uh, five. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe. Hold on. Uh, no. Never mind. You're All right. good. Five. Did you damage him last turn? No, you missed. No, I did not. I didn't hit him. Uh, I didn't attack him. He. Somebody I killed. Did. I oh, blew that's right. Another thing, and then I. You blew up I, his buddy. Yeah. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I want to get as much as I can behind this thing. Ooh. I'm okay. going to attempt to faint. See if I can blow Fate another stab. one. Yep. The old faint stab. <laughs> uh, he's he's found his job. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, fourteen will do it. Oh, we have some bad perception. Uh, all right, here we go. That's a twelve. That's a nineteen. That'll hit. All right, so he takes uh, ten damage. Uh, you killed him. <laughs> all right, we didn't make it. <laughs> this is stupid. I mean, I guess I probably get blown up, and as soon as they start having any kind of decent AC or saves, uh, it's it's not quite that, not quite that silly. But uh, all, all right, right. Well, the, turn. The maggot, uh, the maggot is going to uh, is going to attack Lee. Let's see here. We're gonna give him some maggot action. Damage die does that even use? Oh god, okay. Twenty-five. Yeah, so that hits. Yeah. Uh you take eight damage and are grabbed. Oh. Uh and then Lee, you're gonna take two basic reflex saves as it tries to gnaw your flesh. That sounds great. Uh first save is a ten. Uh, all right, you'll take six damage from the flesh gnawing. Second save is an 18. Uh, and you will take uh, another nine damage from the <clears throat> flesh gnawing. Uh, well, okay, I'm down. So Lee is now wounded, to, or down, and he's you're dying too. You were wounded a minute ago. Okay. <laughs> Then Lee will go ahead of the maggot. So, Greg, that'll be to you. Fun. Well, then. Uh, I'm going to... Might just triple magic missile it. <laughs> Great. Chunk it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see that. Well... I didn't think it would just straight kill you, but you know, I guess that's on me. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I rolled like trash. Uh, total of ten. All right. It looks bloodied. That's everything because I shot all three. Okay, John, that's you at the top. <sighs> Um, it looks bloody. Let's see. And ten was the only so, damage it took. Yep. Oh well. <laughs> the bane overestimated it. Stabilized. Uh, so that so that thing is still uh is still grabbing Lee, trying to eat him. Oh, oh. okay. We need to, yeah, we need to stop that. We need to <laughs> kill that thing. Um, yeah. I'm going to. If I electric arc it, can I get both of them? Uh, the well, wording on is kind of weird. It oh, has to be go... within thirty feet of each other, and also you, I believe. <clears throat> so yes, you can get both of them, but you'll deal half damage to Lee. 
We'll put it that way, because he is being a, he is being grabbed by this thing. Oh. Um. Even if I ray of frost him or anything, just oh, help. if you ray of frost, you're fine. The electric arc is what I was saying. If you if you electrocute the the grub that is attached that is grabbing Lee, he's gonna get electric. Okay. But uh, ray of frost is fine. Um. Yeah, I'll ray of frost it. Why not? We need to try and kill it. I think. Uh, ooh, a 20. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, that uh, will hit. Th th there'll be a 27 altogether. Oh, oh, you'll crit then. Yep. Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Takes double damage and a 10-foot So, foot do you, stats, we but... don't... It doesn't do anything if you're above it again, does it? Because you're 10 over it, plus being a critical. No, it doesn't do anything above it. I don't it, think so. I, I didn't think so. No. So, um... It'll take double damage, so... That's good. So it'll be uh, three it plus four is seven times two, fourteen. Okay, so it will. It you have uh, you have just turned it into an icicle, shattered it. <laughs> yeah, you you icicled it, and and the ice just stops right at Lee. Okay. Drag it down, Lee. Um, uh, Lee's actually still, you know, he he's it's like an ice sculpture, right? It's kind of holding him up. Right. He's not actually like all the way to the ground. Um, I can't really do anything to oh, okay. help him because I've done I've that was two actions to do that. So I'm gonna just get out of the aura, you know. I'm gonna uh, the aura, or did it as go it away? turns out, went away. Okay, when Tusi blew that guy up. Did I did I kill the one with the aura? I thought I killed the other one. You killed the one. With the aura. Okay. Well, no, I'm sorry, you did not. The aura is still there. I guess. Yeah, I the one with the aura moved. Uh, actually, well, I'm not battle. Can you do first aid only if you have battle medicine, right? Yeah, yes. only if you have battle medicine. Yeah, I don't have that. Well, um, I'm just gonna. I'll move up here just to get in the way of a dart or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I can't really do anything else. So. All right, this one is going to. Uh, this one's going to draw a short sword and charge. Mr. That checks out. Nimble dodge. Oh, yep, you nimbly dodged it. That one actually manages to trip and fall on its face, and uh, it is prone. Manages to hold on to its weapon, though. Oh, go ahead, Tusi. It is tripped, falling on its face, and prone. Yeah, it, it's prone. So yeah, it'll be flat-footed against your attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna sigh and just kind of walk past it. I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna attempt to administer first aid. Uh, oh no, you I have, have to have battle medicine. Yep. No, it's administer first aid. It just says uh, you're wearing oh. or uh, oh, you wearing or holding. Yeah, you healer's healing. tools. Yeah, so I have to have healer's tools to do that. So I don't have that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I walk over here, realize I don't have healer's tools. Sigh again, walk back, and then I'm gonna go stab this thing uh, while it's sitting here on the ground. This this seems narrative. Uh, yep. All right. So we got twenty two. Uh, yep. That'll hit. And he'll take uh, 12. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just standing. I, once again, take my sword out and just kind of uh, clean clean the blood off of it. And that's that's my turn. Oh. And then the aura winks out. Uh, and then Lee, give me one death save. You can do it, buddy. Roll a six. It's not a one. <laughs> All right, I will cast Stabilize on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's stable. Yeah. Fuck. Um, and then I tried. I was gonna do it. <laughs> Just, apparently, I don't have healing tools. Can I feed him a good berry, or does he need to be like not unconscious? Uh, I'll give you feeding him a good berry. All right, I will take some time, make a magical berry, roll this d6, and give you six hit points. 
Crushed so Lee, it. you are wounded too. Okay. Well. <laughs> we might want to rest. I don't know. It I'm just like saying. A good idea. Yeah. yeah, it seems like a good idea. Like, so is is this thing to the left of us? Like, is this a long wall over uh, here? I'm sorry, I didn't reveal enough. Hold on, let me reveal. Yeah, I was trying oh, to understand the rest of our terrain. Yeah, I thought that this was just like a big wall. Oh yeah, it's a big man. wall. Those are doors. Okay, oh, okay. a big wall, of doors on the right side. It's also a big wall, basically too. Okay, door. All right, I'm going to. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm going to. Or this area and just see. So okay. do remember, town is half an hour away. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we should go back and rest up, and it is completely acceptable to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. half hour is not. Yeah, I think we, I think we get out and and go yeah. back. To town and... Wounded is scary. Yeah. Does Does anyone actually have the like healing shit? The armor Healer's first tools? aid. Um, healing tools? No, I don't. No. That does remove one wounded, right? If you we succeed. should probably go buy some in town. <laughs> That'd be a good idea, probably, right? Yeah, I have uh, gold. Is he trained gold? in medicine? I am. Yeah. So treat yeah, you wounds. Need the tools. Treat wounds is what gives you. Uh, it cures wounded. It cures wounded. wounded. Yeah. It, it the and then and the wounded condition is removed. Yeah. How much are the healer's tools? Five gold. They're probably fucking expensive. They are They're five like, gold. Cute. Yep. Well, yeah. you know what John I found? Bought. I found four gold earlier. So, <laughs> and a paradot, as it turns out, and a paradot. That's right. It's a French word. <laughs> it's a French word. <laughs> Healers. All right. Tools. So, yeah. you guys gonna head back to Otari? Oh yeah. Yeah, head back to Otari. All right. I think it's a good place to call it. You'll get stumble yep. in a little bloodied. For sure. For sure, I'm gonna uh, heal. And we'll start points now, or, or, or I guess we'll we'll we're all we're, yeah. We'll we just, we'll just pick up that. with you guys getting there. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, just leave your shit. Makes sense. I think that went pretty well. Yeah, overall, besides mm -hmm. Lee almost dying uh, twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you almost <laughs> died once. The other time, no. Well, the other time, just enabled almost dying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I have like actual metal armor and a shield, and like, what is this? You didn't raise that shield one time. <laughs> yeah, that we Not might one time might need to adjust so, our play style a little so bit. So had you, yeah, had you raised the shield, you would not have got critted by that slurk. By the way, it critted you literally by one. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. It did not roll a twenty. It rolled a nineteen and had just enough. Yeah, there. I think we probably can do a better job of reading some of the actions because uh, I definitely have like been reading through some of this that I just didn't even think I had. Like faint uh, is just an action hidden in the deception skill checks. Yeah. Like it's it's not always obvious what's out there for you to use. Uh, and there are like very there's a lot of really good stuff. Yeah, and it's just kind of hidden inside of a skill check somewhere. Uh, and so it's like, ah, oh, shit, we gotta... If you're using that's that one that, website, yeah. so under your skill list, you can hit activities, and then it'll show you what all activities you can do. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, pull very, very out. helpful. Yeah, so we're all under... your... Under skills where it has listed, like, strength, dex, and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I hit activities, you. and it'll let you know. Look at all that. You got also, so much room for activities there. Also, what you're, like, trained in and stuff, too. So. Yeah. Can you resend nope. that thing? Nope. Because... You can't actually prepare uh, spells as readied actions. <laughs> the uh, the website that we're using? Yeah. yeah if they cost more than one action. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't a fan of using it uh, at the beginning because I needed to understand like myself what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. But, but now that I, like, I have an understanding, like I spend so much time it's just very like, helpful. back and forth. Yeah, like, log in or something. All right. If if you want to go quick, whenever like you pull Google. up the the character sheet at the very top, there's something that says quick import, and you can type in whatever you want, and then it'll, it'll literally just pull it in with all the stuff that you need. So. Very, very helpful. How uh, how much XP did we get? 
Yeah. Oh up. boy. Mm-hmm. No, you didn't give him the ten. Up. <laughs> Sad. You got. Uh, let me gander at it really fast. You killed a slurk. You killed a maggot. Uh, you killed One funny. Four thingamabobbers. Five thingamabobbers. Right. Right. So that's uh, eeny meeny miny. Party level one, right? No, no. So you got that much. You got 190 experience. All right. Not bad. Take it. Is it a thousand to level up? Yep. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Lee, you got 191 for uh, for just eating shit so much. It won't let me have one XP. Yeah, it won't <laughs> let you do that. <laughs> then in that case, I rescind your one XP. I'll just I'll keep it posted on my desk of my miscellaneous XP. <laughs> you know, eventually you're gonna get to ten, and then it's gonna matter, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if we go long enough, I'll get to ten. So I uh, honestly like so you guys got that's probably not quite a third of the way through this this like map. And then that's maybe I don't know, quarter of this book. Maybe this like this map, and then there's so you're a th- third of the way through a quarter of the first book, which was a third of what we have. So, I mean, this is quite a bit of playtime. Yeah. Yeah. We should be okay. Well, and I, I imagine, yeah. like, you know, things will get more complicated, probably, as we go on. Probably. I probably. Mean, you never know. So I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do well with this. I think it went fairly well, as far as, like, the maps. The maps are cleaner. Yeah. I, For sure, you can tell what's going on. For the most part, got some nice little right. debris. Yeah, the old Debris. The old Debris all, all over. Stuff. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. definitely not a French word. <laughs> all right. Well, it was a good one. Catch you guys next time. Yeah. Or do we? I, I guess these are probably. We don't need to do a big Sunday session or anything. Oh, we could absolutely do it though. Yeah, I, I'm always down. Uh, okay. Let's see. I can't do this Sunday. Yeah, I, well, I, because I'm I'm doing 40k league. Right, and then uh-huh. next next Sunday is Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what you guys are yeah. doing. Uh, Ooh. I have Jack Diddley plan for the Sunday. On Saturday, I'm playing 40k. Yeah, okay. Saturday. I have 40K. I'm working Saturday, so Saturdays are always bad for me. But okay, Sundays That's are Sunday, always I'm fun. fine. On that thirtieth, Lee, what do you got on the thirtieth? I don't think we're doing anything. I'll check with my wife and shoot you a text. But so right now, I think we're in town, not doing anything. So is that, I, is anybody off Monday? I am. I'm off Monday. I'm off Monday. I was just checking. <laughs> Can't do but oh, I have class Monday night. So yeah. So I so, I think so. Monday's a no. Yeah. I can Sunday. Monday daytime. Yeah. Sunday might be bad for me too. Monday's a no for me for sure. Um. Sunday might not be great either if I'm spending all day playing 40k on Saturday and then doing something all day Monday. Uh, Sunday. What are you doing on Monday? Uh, We're going to a friend's kid's one year birthday party. Uh, Mostly just an excuse to see all these people we haven't seen in a long ass time. Um, Well, we also have uh, we also have Sunday night available too, if nobody's working Monday. That's yeah, true. I'm not. So we wouldn't have to do, do, a, do like a yeah, I'll probably do like a late Sunday night. That way we have our I got my whole Sunday to do shit and then yeah, and yeah maybe start it, maybe start in the later evening, maybe I don't know. We can just everybody shoot me shoot me some availability and I'll see what we've got to because I haven't I haven't talked to Ashley about Sunday yet. So Yeah. Yeah. We'll I gotta... see because this uh the like I said, the contents here, uh for the most part I just have to pull in a few tokens and it helps if I read it ahead of time, but it's it's easy enough to do it on the fly if you guys get farther not than I expect or go a different direction that that's right. not a problem. 
it's it's pretty easy to it's pretty easy to run. Gotcha. All right, guys. Well, we will uh, we'll go for next Thursday and let me know what your schedules look like for Sunday after. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm good. Nice Later. See ya. Later. All right. Oh, that went well. Uh, I don't know how long I was on the um, screen whenever I used my numpad. Maybe I should figure out a better way. Either way. Um, I think I'm going to hop over into Destiny after this, but for now, um, let's figure something out. How about I do... Uh I pull it up? No, it's not. Do 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 Oh my god. Um oh now let's do Yeah, we'll just do this. And uh I will return shortly.
<sighs> right. Back at it again. All right. What are we doing? Let's slow again here with these. That one will happen. They're almost done. Get me from a rush. Right. Okay. Auto rifles. About got that one. All right. Um. That. That. Fine. Um, yeah. Where are we at here? Da -da -da -da. What are you doing, Tyus? <laughs> yes, hello. Hello, how are you? No. Try to get that one. Not sure. Alright. We are. Auto rifles and void. Hey, look. You know how to just be like right. My button. What a boy. What a boy. Oh, yeah. Oops. Uh... Lyson and Dyson. Like I didn't update that. Whoops. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mifrax and I agree on little, except this. Destroy these vags, harvest their data, and crush their network. Hive. I would like not have anything. All right, you gotta go. Can't focus with you on. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Max forces rally. If they regain the terminal, our incursion will fail. Repel their assault. God.
Spicer Club is working. Keep at it. bad. That's a new one. Driver crash. Hmm. I'm gonna fix that. So. 